Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. So let's chat. So we saw, uh, based off the bonus bosses, we don't have enough levels to survive their attacks. It's not even a question of, you know, change of strategy. We just physically do not have the ability to survive a hit. So I don't think we're too far off from actually being able to do them. I think we're within two or three levels. So by the time we finish the story dungeons in the final area, uh, I think we'll be good. I don't think I even need to go as far as potentially like a new dungeon, assuming we're done with the ones that are open up in the overworld. Honestly, as long as we do at least two more and we wildcard each of the bosses, that might be enough. We still have a ton of wild or wild cards. We still have a ton of lucky cards in case we find an enemy that actually gives good XP. So far, we haven't really come across one. Aside from the unintentional boss duplication. So we'll we'll keep an eye out, I guess. But anyway, uh, I guess we'll get started in just a moment. There we go. I need to relabel those. I do that every one once in a while. Yeah, you know, you know, it's bad when the bosses are able to two shot Tim. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Or the equivalency thereof. Like, he's just, like, he's literally, like... He's literally nine levels above the party. It's so sad. Not much I could do. I mean, at least the Saurus lives, but... I need to be able to survive that, uh, 4k attack. I mean, insert disc 2. Isn't disc 2 in? Are you kidding me? Him, please. I am so lost. It says disc 2 is inserted. Why are you asking me about disc 2? Well, I will open tray. Close tray. Uh, this 2 was already inserted. Congratulations, Wild Arms. <laughs> it, did it not detect disc 2 even though it was running disc 2? That was special. I'm like, all I did was, like, I guess I guess I swapped this without properly opening and closing, but I did reset it, so I thought that was good enough. Apparently resetting is not good enough. So yeah, Hello needs about... I think 3,800, literally. The Saurus can survive. Bashley can survive. So I can probably bring in Bashley, the Saurus low because they're the only characters that can survive or if irene levels one more time i think she could survive or she might need two levels if she took more than hello did but either way we're not that far off from doing a bonus boss We went over here, yeah. Let's go see what this one's about. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. Oh, right. We can't land here for some reason. Why is this terrain like? Why? Why is this one so special that I have to now get a boat for this? This is annoying. Where did? I mean, we left our boat over here, but that's not helpful to us. Uh, fine, I'll go land again. Let's do this real quick. Oh, game. I'm surprised we still can't take the hovercraft in that one area. I don't know if I'm just missing a way to teleport it in a way that's useful. 
But we have like one literal treasure that we cannot seemingly attain at all, and I still don't understand how to get to it. Oh, wait, that's not the one that teleports into the right place. Which is the one that teleports in the middle? Actually, that... Wait, no, no, no. Actually, no, wait, how do we reach that one? Wait, genuine question. This was the thing where it was like, we need a boat to get to here for the item. But I never figured it out from last time how to teleport it. Because we couldn't take the hovercraft under the bridge. Oh, well, no, we tried that. Unless... Hold on, did I forget to hit something while I was in here? Because I, I was looking at this the other... Yeah, the last time we were here and I was like, I know we got the item here, did I forget to hit something? Oh, I forgot to hit something. You know what? That makes sense. Raise the bridge. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think I tried the console on that side. Never mind, Chad. It all makes sense now. We're good. Yeah, we just got the Mist Cloak, so we're, we're about where we should be at least. Okay, so let's go this way. I might as well go pick up that item, because I think that's literally the only one we never picked up at any point in the entire overworld. I think everything else has been scavenged at this point. So we need to find an enemy to power level on. We know what they look like in Wild Arms 1. I don't think we came across them. Well, that's not true. We did see them, but they weren't worth, like, a lot. I love that there's an enemy called Black Sabbath for no reason. Yeah, I don't think anything offhand would help us in there. We know we could get more lucky cards. So we know there's enemy there's a, more than one enemy potentially I could fight for them. So I'm not worried about that. If I really need to, I could check the enemy list again. Ralph Slogger? <laughs> what? Well, let's see if they have anything for her to steal. Because her abilities are terrible. Oh. I don't think I changed their things around. Unfortunate. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna have to th slow the stars down. As I was like, wait a minute, did did I put the all stat boost on uh, <laughs> our god character? Hello, I think we did. So I'm like, he didn't outspeed before. Oh wait, he does. Oh, oh, he doesn't have the god one on. Okay, never mind. What are you using? Oh, just not that for some reason. Maybe- oh, you know what it was? Because I changed it and then we died to the bonus boss so it undid my equipment. You know what? That makes sense. Yeah, because she needs to have more response speed than Thesaurus, so that way she can always check an enemy for free without really doing anything, because most of the time those two characters are good enough to kill everything, and I might as well as see what her abilities are because I'm bored. All that for a full carrot? Wow, that was not worth Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Yeah, let's get this one over with, because this one just seems much more... Do not want a beach there? Hello? What, what, what did I do wrong? Appar that specific portion of the beach was like, mm-mm. You're hitting disembark? I don't think so. What is this? Ray point.
Path of your travel is closed. Don't give up. Turn and see the road you came on. The road you came on has possibilities concealed. Oh, open up the road. Oh, is it saying that there's a switch hidden? Is that what it's telling me? Cute. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I don't think we. No, no, no. We did that last time. Never mind. I was, I'm trying to recollect. I'm still kind of waking up over here. Oh, goody, a riddle dungeon. Yeah, something like that. I was trying to recollect if there's anything we didn't do with our new tools. Well, at least so far the dungeon is straightforward and where I have to go. Right, so we need something like the wire hook. This is surprisingly much more annoying than this looks. And do you want me to do it from here? I mean, I could drop down here and zip across. You don't want me to cheat on the stairs. Wait, can, you, can you not walk around that? Game, please. Alright, well this is becoming more annoying due to 3D movement and awkward camera. There we... Really? That doesn't count as landing on the platform? Seriously? Wow, okay. I mean, if you want to play it that way, I'll just do this then. Actually, this should be good enough, right? I know, whatever. Bullet load acquired. I was going to try to zip between, because I thought that's why they wanted the post there, but you know, I'll just go use the other thing to go fetch the item. Whatever. Why give me the post if that's not what you want me to use? Come on. Um, where is my goal? Oh, just the other side. Um... I guess it's used as a decoration. I just wish they didn't make it literally the same thing that you zip to all the time. Question is... Is there any reason for me to go one way over the other? I don't think there is. It matters. Okay. Praying statue, sure. Rest acquired, cool. I don't even use that character. <laughs> right, chat? I, I have to say, man, did Crest Magic get like the, the nerf hammer. I have not. I have not felt so unexcited to go get more spells in the game before. I'm just like, wow, cool, another spell she can't use because she's too low level. I mean, like, everything costs, like, 50 plus, so, like, she's never going to use it in casual battle. So, presumably, we're lowering the water level, so I'm getting, uh... I'm getting some Valkyrie profile water puzzle vibes. Remember that dungeon chat where we just constantly turn valves and we're in the flood chambers? I think we're in that version of this. And now it should be lower. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have to then refill the water level, I think, but we'll see. I mean, at least I could just do this repeatedly. You even give the same items? Oh, that's so boring. Oh, a slightly different puzzle. But, like... Maybe turn off someone's sauna and you don't know. Maybe. Uh... I'm just thinking about this. Puzzles first thing in the morning as usual. So, I think I need to move this, but the question is, do I want to push this one one more and then move this out of the way? So the problem is this block is in the way, so if I move this, I can't do anything meaningful. So, I think it has to go over here. So 
So I think I could do something like... Push this here. And I only have one choice anyway. Can I move this one just out of the way if I want to? Okay, because you can you can slide this back. Actually, wait a minute. You can just slide this backwards. One second. I'm overthinking this. I mean, don't I just move these out of the way more? Oh, I, I guess maybe I can't pull it backwards because the wall's there. That's fair. That means I could just do this. I don't know if this is the way the game intended me to do it, but I'm doing it this way. I'm used to thinking in push mode only. That's fine. Quick knife acquired. Wait, who's that even for? Oh, it's for Irene. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I'm like, I was thinking like there's a push only solution, but I'm like, N or I could just pull them out of the way. I'm like, okay. I mean, it kind of undermines the puzzle, I guess. Who cares what the game wants? It gave us those towers. That's true. So is there a significance to the number of statues? Like, this, it went from one statue to two statues. I can't move these, right? I mean, I'll make note of it. I don't know if it'll be relevant, but at least I'll say I wrote it down. Right, champ? Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> let's continue onwards. Could just be designating the level I'm on. But we've also seen where it punishes me for not keeping track of counts. didn't make that one. That would have been awkward. Hopefully you're doing well, Calvisham. Well, this Chris. Oh yeah, that reminds me, Chris. I was showing off a little bit of the Pathfinder stuff the other day. We'll have a talk about it a bit more. I mean, this just feels like... Like... Chat, do you, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, maybe maybe this is just my, my stance on puzzles in general. This just feels like a waste of time. <laughs> just like, I'm not really like enjoying these puzzles. They are simply things that I'm forced to contend with that don't really feel like they fit the environment in which I'm doing them. I just find them kind of tedious and annoying. Oh, I can't push that one all the way back. I'm just like, why though? Oh, no, no, no. So many blocks, I know. Anyway. I mean, we're slowly getting upgrades, which does make a difference. Like, that actually might let her survive now. This defense does scale pretty well in this game. So if she levels one more time, maybe that weapon armor increase will be enough for the bonus boss. But I think by the time we clear all the waypoints, we or excuse me, ray points, we should be good to try the bonus bosses again. I'm not sure if we could beat all of them, but at least one of them we might have a chance. We we just have to not get seventh mooned. You know how it is, chat. <laughs> Sometimes you easily glide to victory, other times you get seventh mooned. The confusion in you will be cut off along with you. What? I feel like this is going to be another boss that's going to troll me with uh, immunity to magic, which is fine. So I, I'm going to go ahead and... See, I see a shield. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use lucky card here. So we're going to go ahead and see if you have anything worth stealing. The answer is no, because the skill is terrible. A build-up meter, and why don't we use a lucky card? Okay. I mean, 
Good guess. The last boss did that to me. I know, Blue Donna. It's like, why did, why did they take it away? I'm assuming Skill Drain will go through. Or she has nothing useful. Man, they really needed to buff that ability. She's so bad as, like, the final party member. I feel like using her is just challenge mode at this point. Okay, you'll counterattack. That's cool. Build me more meter. I want meter. You do that more often? So I need to get to 99 or so? <clears throat> I think I could do that. Let's go ahead and heal. They should be out of kill range no matter what the boss does here. So what I made the mistake of doing last time is... I feel like this boss had like an annoyingly powerful attack. If I killed the shield first. But what if I just spend a couple turns wailing on the real boss, and then kill the shield? I feel like that's the easy mode of how to do it. Like, you can waste your turns casting High Barrier, because that's what the other boss did. So, I, as long as I don't do... We'll say, we'll do one more turn's worth of damage. So at most, we might have to burst him a little bit. So we're doing about, on average, 2k a turn. As long as I don't, like, do crazy damage here. So that would be about six... So, now now my question is, do I think the boss has 8,000 health? Or do I think the boss has 9,000 health? Because if I think the boss has 8,000 health, I will kill this boss before I kill the shield. So what I'm gonna do, I think the boss does not have more than 8,000, but I could be wrong. So we're gonna do a single attack here, and we're gonna target the shield. I'm also going to target the shield. So now it doesn't really matter what the boss does. It should be within, like, one touch range at this point, no matter what. So as long as I did not, like, horribly miscalculate, this boss should be very close to dead, but not actually dead. Good. So that was three turns of attacks when before it gets anything powerful. In the meantime, Thesaurus now has max meter. Um... I can just, I can leave Gremlin in for now. We do have the ability to just nuke the boss at some point. But let's go ahead and do lock on with Railgun on the shield. I wish that thing did not have Mirror Coat. So the shield, I think, has about the same amount of health as the boss does. So we can get a rough idea of how much health this thing has, assuming it's doing the same HP totals as the last one. So if it survives one more of those, then we can guess the boss has about 9,000 health or so. Uh... Second arm times two with any scud. See how this goes. So the shield should be at about half health right now. We need to do another four to five thousand to kill it. But between that last attack and this one, that puts it over five thousand damage dealt. So let's see how tanky the rest of the boss is. Oh, did that pop the shield? It doesn't retarget? Oh, come on. What is this, Final Fantasy 1? Oh, come on. I got cheated. Chad, I got cheated. Why is there even another turn? Why did you miss? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, I guess it's going to hit me. Unless I outspeed. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to outspeed. That is so unfortunate. That should have been GG. 
That feeling when you have the right strategy, but the game says no. How close was this thing to death, by the way? Let's find out. Ooh, didn't die after a thousand. That's a little scary. Ooh, didn't die after two thousand. Huh. That's unfortunate. I could die here then. I thought for sure that thing was dead. Let's swap out characters real quick. Do something like this. That is unfortunate. What does it have? Like 100 health at most? Like, we did over 6,000. Like, I think I literally put... So it must have had 9,000. Because if it survived a full turn like that... There's no way. It has to have 9,000. Because we, we did way over 8,000. I think we did like 8,900 or something. I don't think we were off by very much. I'll put it that way. I think just regular attacks here should kill. Oh, it didn't do Water Catastrophe. That's probably for the best that it didn't do that. Oh my gosh, if Vicky 2 gets the kill, that would be the shame kill. Oh my gosh, it was less than two, it was less than 300. Do you see what I mean, chat? I got cheated. I think we can all agree, I actually got cheated. Nice, 36,000 experience, Vicky leveled, Ashley leveled. Oh, actually cheated. Everybody leveling. Vicky 2 did it, chat. <laughs> so, I think I had the right strategy. I just got hard cheated on that double arm getting the kill. Hard cheated. So unfortunate. What? It, can I check the thing's accuracy? No, I can't check it while I'm in here. Unfortunate. I was curious why that didn't hit. Oh well. So if the star's having more than 6,000 health is kind of insane. So one more boss should level hello. But everybody else looking fairly tanky. Irene now is over 4,000 health. So she went up way more than I thought she would. So she could survive the other boss now. Because the boss was doing, I think, 4,030 to her, I think. Or 4,080. But either way, with her new defense ups, I don't think it should matter. Oh, yeah. Well, definitely now the melee attacks don't matter. So she is now way, way tankier for surviving some hits. Gremlin is useless as usual. Even with her upgrades, she's just terrible. <laughs> like, just actually trashed here. Oh, boy. Well, on the plus side, we got the level up I was looking for. And that matters because... Damage matters, health matters in that fight. There's two different doors I could take. What happens if I go to the taller one? The lonely virgin muse heals her heart by being with another. Heal the heart's loneliness, travel five steps to the cold wind, three steps into the sinking sun. Once a virgin travels a road seeking a half body. I... Okay. Oh, you're just not gonna jump down? Like all the other stupid times I fly off platforms, you will. I don't, I don't know why you told me that puzzle still, but I guess we'll have to know that for later. Oh, hello. Leviathan, allegedly. Let's heal before I die. Wow, that did no damage. Oh, Gremlin, you're so useless. Why can you never learn any skills? Fine, I'll summon your little robot buddy. 
the only reason to use the character. to see how much XP we get from beating this thing. It is surviving a surprisingly long amount of time. There we go. Only a thousand, not worth it. All right, so if we see that encounter in the future, we're skipping. Because otherwise we need to defeat like, what, 18 of those to make it worth it? Oh, that's not worth it. Open the jump shoes acquired. Jump shoes are for use by Irene. Press square to be able to jump vertically to slightly higher locations. I think certain locations hang up areas of varying height. So go save. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, we had to we had to have equipment to teach us how to jump. Boy, that would have saved like literal hours of gameplay if we could have jumped earlier. <laughs> she really is Waluigi. Luigi. What's the point of this? What that's not at all how I thought they were gonna jump there, but sure. Oh, is this the- oh, this is the exit. I somehow managed to choose the only way that would not lead to progress, which is funny. So, like... Is, is there anything else she could do here with these boots? Before we do this? Hmm. Uh... This one? Oh, we have to do opposite. So there was the one that had only one. Is there anything else to do in these rooms before I go further? So there's the, the lone statue. So I'm assuming the other thing was a hint on how to deal with that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. PS1 graphics tell me. We're, we're doing the logic of 90s cartoons. If something is slightly discolored, you want me to interact with it. Want me to jump here? Oh. Uh, that's actually kind of subtle. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't- I don't think I even noticed that the first time I was in there. Now we're up here. If I was not rotating the camera, I would not have noticed it, to be honest. Which I was trying not to do. So, we have a door. We have a path I could take. <laughs> well. Okay. Oh gosh, am I gonna have to keep doing this for every one of those? Please no. <laughs> right, child? Please, please don't make me do that over and over again. This seems horrible. Oh my gosh. Use this path as the flowing path that always flows from top to bottom. Rate the road uniting the future by walking it, except only for... That is the step that we use this path. Oh my gosh, what is all this? Was the 5-3 in reference to this? I just... Let's do this. 
Mega Berry. Ambrosia. We do need to form the other path at some point. Mega Berry acquired. What's over here? A lot of jump stuff. Okay, let's let's deal with the Oh, just ground them real quick. Let's deal with the this thing. Do I just need to do the I guess I have to do them in order. I don't know if it'll punish me if I pop those out of order, so we're just gonna go right to left. Until we have no more that we could jump on. And, well, unless we don't need to do that. Maybe we don't. I mean, what's what's the downside of me popping this other one? Let's find out. Yeah, I guess we technically don't need to do that. So we needed to just pop number two. So I guess with that in mind, let's... Acquired. Assuming it's an armor for somebody, but I don't know how to, to check that. What? <laughs> Wait, question mark. Isn't reflex an armor? Oh no, they made it a shield. Uh, means it's in here, right? Yeah, we don't use that. That is a lot of defense, though. Not gonna lie, that is 120. That is a massive boost. I could try that on one of the bosses. I mean, honestly, I think this makes the Saurus almost unkillable. I guess I might as well just put it on him. I'm so used to Reflex being the name of the armor, like that Adol wears. I don't think it's a shield, normally. So we need to just pop the thing that's in alignment with number th we'll call this number three I gotta pop so if I go if I make like a so if I go right to left one to four then if I go up a row it's five six I gotta pop number six ignore this one and hop on this one We'll come back to that in a second. Is there anything else to do in that room? Like, does it lead to another treasure room, or is it just, that's it? Just double check. I should have done that before I went down, so I don't have to come back up here. All right, so there's no other doors up here. And I'll just fall if I'm able to. Okay, so we got all the treasure, so now we have to deal with this. Let's line up the ones that don't seem to be able to rotate so I can figure out how this is done. So there's some that have broken jewels, right? So I can't rotate those. So those will dictate how the puzzle should go. So this feels not really like a puzzle and more like busy work, to be honest. Like, th this one is not really challenging. Like, I know I'm not good at puzzles, but, like, seriously, this is the puzzle. I had to, like, double-check what the graphic was. I was like, I think they're not facing each other. You need to face upwards. Riveting puzzle action! These two should be facing each other. You and you need to face each other. Of course, they're the most annoying way possible, so I have to do the most amount of moves, of course. In. Okay. I still didn't do the five and three that it talked about earlier.
Wait, what was the point of the... What was the point of the five and three? Wait, was that supposed to be teaching me the puzzle solution? Was that supposed to be the solution of the, the floor thing from the beginning? Like, if I counted from left to right, it would have been three, four... I guess maybe that's what that was supposed to be? Whatever. Voice reaching Irene's heart. Hi, Irene. To the one who threw it all away, but couldn't throw away their confusion. Who? Who are you? I am the Will of Power, Spirit of Muse. Oh, now I'm reminded of Zillia. If you want to liberate the Raypoint I control, you must rid yourself of your confusion. My confusion? I was thinking it was going to be like a teleport puzzle or like a walk puzzle. That's that's what I was thinking the numbers were for, but I guess technically it was the solution to the craft thing. Confusion. I who gave up everything, but the one and only thing I can't give up is the confusion. I'll do it. I'll throw it away. That's how I became strong. That's how I got powerful. It become innocent of knowledge, exactly. And BP2 was a trip. So, I too discarded my own self. She gulfs. That's it. If I don't do it, I'll never be able to be a hero. I wasn't able to acquire the power to exercise evil. It's an odd story. But if you got the blood of the sword mages flowing within you, why did you throw away your body? That was to... Tell me! All those years passed. If I had endured the abuses of a bionic body, I would have become a hero? Am I somehow different from the other mercs? Why did I want to become a hero? I remember. I was raised hearing my mother tell stories about the sword mages. I like to think that she's just like spasming out on the floor right now. <laughs> like everybody else is like, are you okay? And you're like, bleh, bleh. like just <laughs> like she's having this whole inner monologue with herself. Meanwhile, I always hoped that I had the blood of the sword mages within me. I always thought that if I were a hero, I'd be able to get out of this situation. Oh, goodbye, random spam account. That's right. I always thought about how to escape from that dark slum, and I... Made the hero the authority. That's how it was, right? But I was always lonely. The world just like that slum had spread everywhere. What I sought wasn't a hero. I wanted a group of friends who needed me. So you wanted to be needed. That's why you tried to be a hero, right? That's right. That's why I wanted to be a hero. To find a place where I belonged. A place of friends. But why do I feel so estranged when everyone's by my side? Dango says, I'd like to imagine whenever someone's on the key term in brackets or quotes are saying it loud in monotone voice. Maybe. You should know. Because I refused everyone. Be brave and reach out your hand. If I do that, they'll probably accept me. The belief becomes the bind that ties them oh ties me to them accept and recognize me as one of the group broken biotic implants can only shorten one's life don't refuse me help me get my original body oh excuse me it'll help me get back my original body of living flesh what a weird statement to say my real self let's go home together to aisha bernadette and then we refuse to call her Aisha for the rest of the game. <laughs> right, chat? She'll still be Irene to us. Or Waluigi, whichever chat wants. Why? How? Irene, why do you not have your original body, but have acquired bionic implants again? Because that's what I wished. That's right. You wish not for the body you were born with, but for the body to fight for a bionic body. <laughs> Irisha and Aisha. That's what I don't understand. You've spent a lot of time obsessing over something trite. Heroes aren't passed through blood relations. What you do determines the birth of a hero. There's something stronger flowing in me than blood. Well, yeah, it's bionic arms. It's clearly more important than the sword mages is blood. It's friends I've been searching for. Ugh, gross. 
The constricted body I've always sought is the bond that ties me to my friends. Why should you put that in quotes? <laughs> oh, it's it's the bond. <laughs> Just like, that's how I do that when I see that. Irene. This is what they oh, this is what they say to accept all that is given. I feel I have in me both the power to fight and bonds with my friends. Also, I'm 100% not gonna lie due to the font. My brain very briefly for a moment read the bottom line as quote and bombs with my friend. And I was thinking of the Bomberman quote. <laughs> Chat has corrupted my mind. I can't unsee the word bombs now. Confusion. The confusion never leaves us, chat. She says it doesn't exist in me. It now it, it now exists in me versus her. The confusion is gone. The ray point will be liberated. Fight with us. I am just like you. I too want to protect Phil Gaia. Corrupted your mind for good and evil, something like that. Well, guys, life energy, the Muse's mana has been freed and is quietly filling up. Muse's mana will awaken future possibilities of sleep in Irene. Gatling level 4 acquired. It'll deliver a force level 4 multi stage attack on a single enemy. I mean, that could be useful for the bonus bosses. I'm not going to rule that out. I think we have one more ray point to do, and then maybe after that I want to try the bonus bosses again. I feel like it's too premature to do a boss. I'm walking back, get out of here. Hey Chad, I don't think so. Actually, it was technically the wrong one, but I could just fly because it would be faster than me menuing at this point. I wanted to go here. Good enough. I'm gonna regain my ammo, and then we can assess where the final one is. Then we can also see what that thing's accuracy was, where it missed, and it forced me to actually contend with the boss. Like, was it just unlucky? Wasn't it like a 70%? Yeah, it was 70%. I was just unlucky. Wow, big F in the chat. <laughs> So if I want a multi-hit, I could use Bazooka, but honestly... I should probably increase the power of Railgun. We are using it for its intended purpose. And I'll slightly buff this thing's damage. Do I want to increase its accuracy? It's only 2%. I don't think that's worth it. So Mini Scuds are backup for bosses. Railgun is our main thing. I don't mind blowing all my money here. I don't really care about his other abilities. It is an all attack though, which is nice. So I think no matter what, blast them is the right thing to do to level it slightly, but we'll hold on to the rest of our money for later. So we improved our boss killer with Railgun. That thing is almost all raw power. It is one extra bullet in raw power. Did the level up unlock any useful abilities, like a defense up or a HP up for the other- or equivalency for the other characters? The magic defense is done, so that means I could start taking physical up a little bit. Um... I think I want physical defense up versus magic defense. This does scale very high from what I can see. Thank you, Oreo Gaga Spark, for the good luck. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, I kind of regret not getting advanced guard hindsight, but whatever. We, we learn, I guess. If we can up her physical attack power, she'll be less trash. I kind of thought she would be more of a spellcaster with her skills, but we literally haven't learned any. She's been in like four dungeons chat and she's gotten like a skill. Like that ratio is terrible. I think we could all agree. There should have been way more common skills for her to grab. Even if it repeated, like once you learn it once, there's like a whole family of enemies that could give it to you. That would have been such a much better implementation of that. Instead of like literally every enemy not giving her anything. I don't know what they were thinking with that, to be honest. Did we do the one that was over here? Yeah, we did. What optional bosses have I not beaten? All of them. I've not done optional bosses yet. We're not high enough level. Uh, Where was the other dungeon? 
I'm gonna level one more time and then we'll try again. So we did the Crimson Castle. Well, there's there's nothing else we have to do here. Are there any other things? Did let me check my notes. Did I do the other dungeon? What did I write? One second. We did not do the flying ray point in the southwest. Okay, thank you. Moa, I think you should go after it. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'm just seeing. I don't think there's any other bonus dungeons. I think we cleared them all. So I think I just have that one dungeon to do. We're just doing a quick sweep through just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But I think we cleared all the bonus dungeons. Well, definitely all the bonus dungeons, but I don't think there's anything else waiting for us. So once I go back to the other one, I think we're done. Yeah, I don't see anything else so far. Unless there's something in the middle that I missed. Oh, there is. Uh, I could do this one first, I guess. <laughs> Love her walking out of the way, because I landed on it. Raypoint Geo. Ah, let's do Raypoint Geo. Oh, you're talking about a boss. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't we haven't started those. We we tried to go to Mount Chug Chug and I basically got one shot. Just straight up. Alright, will will she ever learn an ability? <laughs> she she's learned two abilities since we've had her. Alaga Tiger, that is a name, and we have Giga Poison. Interesting. like this. Let's see, Chad. Will she ever finally learn an ability? Look at that thing's haircut. Oh, this thing actually has an ability she can learn? Oh my gosh, Chad. The, the ability list streak is over. I mean, some characters are just better than others. Oh, she, wait, she can actually do something now? Wait, chat, it only took like five dungeons. She finally has a usable ability. She did it. I'm still probably not going to use this character once we're done with these dungeons, but that's fine. We did it. She is the winner now. I know, how did Alaga Tiger of all things have something for her? Uh, they, that, that's what I'm used to seeing. I mean, I might as well show it off at some point. Gotta get a little cash back. She is so bad, chat. I just, like, I'm sure there's some, like, secret enemy that gives her a broken skill, but, like, just taking her to these dungeons, she is straight useless. Looks like a special switch. Okay. I think it's this dungeon where I got Miss Cloak, right? Oh, no, it's not. Um... Hmm. So we're missing two sets of tools. Okay, so kicking the switch is not what it wants me to do. So what would possibly hit this thing is the question I'm asking myself. Look at our tools real quick. We have the change rod, which I don't think will work on this, but I could try. No. We have... <laughs> I keep wanting to call that air valet. I don't think jumping matters for this. We could zap it if I think there's something in the room that will open this. Hmm. I don't think anything in here really makes sense. And let... Oh, actually, hold on. We... If we're gonna meta this... I don't think anything that Bashley has is useful. Did I just blow this up? Okay, not in a million years would I normally think a bomb is what I need to toggle the switch when we have all those items. 
but it's okay. We know that we, we're down to two characters that haven't gotten a tool. We're there. Oh, this kind of goes on forever. That's unfortunate. All right, so it needs me to go pretty quick. I did not get a sense of how big the room was until just then. Chat knows I love timing puzzles. My favorite. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it this way. I don't know how the game wanted me to grab that. Tool Earthquake acquired. The Earthquake is for use with the SARS. By pressing square, an earthquake will erupt in the room, shaking the foundation. Destroy all at once every wooden box and cracked wall in the room. Oh, okay, so it reveals cracked walls. Contents, that's nice, I guess. Oh, can I just use it in here? There's like a little gap down there. There's a door over there. I'm assuming that's my destination. Again, I'm not sure what the game thought I was going to do get, to get that treasure, but we got it that way. So we have... A block I can't do anything with. Something I could hit with the change rod. Assuming this will make more sense later. Let's try this other path. Ah. Uh, of course. Oh, you're gonna make me miscloak that? That's kind of rude. Oh, and then they lost momentum? Wow, that is so rude! What? That is so rude. Oh, that time they touched. So we have a couple different paths we could go. We try south first. Maybe trust takes a powerful blow to open. Arm Sky Eye acquired. Sky is a heavy arm used by Thesaurus. It'll ch it'll achieve a satellite ground beam attack for an attack on the enemy group. Oh, maybe I should have saved somebody for that. Oh well. Yeah, I was looking- I mean, like, I've seen more stupid things in games, so it did not really make me question it further. Unfortunately, I don't think I could check this thing's stats out. But at least we could see... Got three ammo. That's so probably about on power with... Maybe Mini Scud? Maybe a little stronger? I don't know if it's quite Railgun. Railgun by itself might be the most powerful thing we got. I mean, I don't mind potentially having, like, a random room clear. Oh, Chad, we surprised them. Let's see what her ability actually does. And see what this thing is. 31 attack power. So according to this, it should be better than Mini Scud. I don't think it really matters what I use. Damage was okay. Oh, you got crit in the face, GG. At least there's maybe a way- maybe that almost justifies having magic attack up over the other things. I probably should have gone defense with her. I didn't think she would be the- I thought she would be subpar, but... Truly right now, until she gets like a buff move or like a debuff, she's quite terrible. There's all of these. So what stops me from just earthquaking every room? Oh, didn't do anything. Uh what do you want me to do then? You want me to use fire? That checks out. Oh, is that a timing thing? 
Oh, just awkward diagonals. There we go. I love we could just walk on that pixel. That cracks me up. Okay. More respite. Disappointing. More war respite. Still disappointing. We have presumably two more war respites. Yep, that's not where I thought it was going. Are there any other switches I can hit on this? This camera angle will hide stuff from us, which really sucks. Not seeing anything immediately obvious. Let's move on to the next room. Okay, so there's a platform way down there, which presumably I don't want to be on. Now the question is... By Earthquake, what does this do? Oh, cute. Cute, he didn't actually jump to the next platform. Oh, you have to be pretty quick with that. That's kind of annoying. I should just stand on this one in general then. I thought it was going to be like a more of a time thing. Game, please. This is, I, I hate timing puzzles so much, chat. I really do. I, I don't even get, like, in this universe how this puzzle works. Like, I... they the, Somehow the pieces defy gravity, question mark. They also somehow reset and we don't die every time we fail. I just... I don't know. I found that it was weird in this game. I don't think the puzzles make any sense for where they are. Other than it's just a way to show off a game feature. Can I just do this? Yeah. Again, I don't know if this is how the game wants me to grab that, but that's 100% how I'm grabbing that. Oh, even more defense for him? Nice. Actually unkillable. Do we have an item up there? Was, was there anything to the south that I should take first? More items. Is it worth... Oh, it's a Vitality Apple. Oh, yeah, I could decide who gets the buff. Ah, oh, this room was okay. I mean, I could just make... I think almost all of them except for the strength one are going to hello. Right, chat? Just make him actually unkillable. Strength apple we could put on... I don't think the Saurus needs it at all. Let's put it on Irene again. I'd like to use her for a boss battle at some point. Then sorcery obviously goes to hello. Why would we ever bother putting it on another character? Need more damage, chat. Okay, so there's another room over here. That puts us back here. Which might be how we just return back to the other entrance. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll solve this puzzle. If I don't like it, I'll just jump in the pit. That would just take us back to the okay so i don't want to go that way because that will make us go and redo that entire puzzle section again which i say no thanks nice we surprised them oh nova i don't think i tried skill training you yet So she's averaging, like, an ability every other dungeon at this point, which is pretty terrible. I wish there was a way to tell what skills you could grab from the enemies in the Beast Theory to save some time. You know, that would, that would make too much sense. Sure, we'll have her actually do some magic here. Oh, it was actually the weakness? Wait, it was actually useful? Oh my gosh, chat. Actually useful. Yeah, Vicky 2 got levels. Not that I ever plan on using her unless we get hilariously high level. 
she feels pretty underwhelming. Although, she's starting to get enough health to survive a bonus boss, maybe. So maybe she'll actually be used for bosses? Maybe? His health right now is the only thing holding Hello back, so I'm glad he has like a 7 level advantage over some other characters. But we'll be able to lucky card again, and we should be pretty close to uh, trying a bonus boss. We have all of this nonsense. I think it wanted me to like run up the stairs and like go all the way back, and I'm like, I'm just gonna use Puka. It should be a boss, right? So, <clears throat> Great Point's Protector Knight has arrived. You must let me through. But thou must, chat. Alright, so we're gonna assume the boss has the same amount of health as the other one, so either 8,000 or 9,000 health. <clears throat> so as long as we damage both of them and then make sure we kill the shield, we should be good. Oh yeah, I could use uh, Lo's, uh force attack. That would probably one-shot the boss pretty hard. Let's weaken the shield a little first. Then I th think I could just use things like Wand Mower on them. Yeah, let's do that. And you could spend a turn using Lucky Card because I need levels. And to no one's surprise, it's using Mirror Coat. I'm, at least it's a slightly different graphic for the same boss AI. This way the shield should always die first. I hit the shield. Did he seriously whiff? Come on, game. I don't even think it's that low. That's just unlucky. Chad, I'm getting actually unlucky. I swear that one has almost an 80% chance of hitting. That is just so brutally terrible. Uh, let's substitute her out, because she's kind of useless. Let's build meter on the main body. I'm going to throw Lawnmower again, and I'm just going to heal. So Thesaurus should be ready defensively for bosses. Just need the other characters to kind of catch up a bit. She'll build meter this way, which is perfect. I just need hello to build meter. Speaking of which, thank you for giving me the meter I was looking for. These actually hit both of them. Thank you. Uh, but I missed the shield. Come on. Game, please. Chat, what is this tomfoolery? Am I really going to have to lock on the lawnmower? This is so sad. So I can combine and possibly just nuke the boss if I need to. Do some melee damage here, I guess. So at least we should be able to burst the boss without me needing to heal. Yeah, that was very special. He's definitely throwing them blind. So as long as we're not just doing the shield at full health, I think we're fine. Alright, so she's almost built up enough meter for this to matter. I'm gonna target the knight, and then I'm gonna lawn mower again. I'm gonna melee the knight, or melee the shield, I think at this point. Just to make sure that they're actually taking some significant damage. That's fine, he's gonna build some meter. Please hit both. Thank you. Okay, so she's almost built up enough meter, so we're gonna do that, and... I guess I'm gonna lock on... a lawnmower, just to guarantee the hit at this point. Get FP shift to get people meter. Oh, did he put his shield away? I mean, if I killed it, that's perfect. Yeah, I think I killed it. 
So he shouldn't have that much more health, but he probably won't die this turn. Yeah, even with lock on, it didn't quite kill. That's fine. We're gonna use our Gatling. Oh, we actually don't have an ability to use. I'll use Vortex Cut then. We're gonna lock on probably probably Mini Scud. But she didn't learn a new ability because I figured this would be a good opportunity to maybe do it. But it did kill. It's okay, that time this strategy was executed successfully, despite being trolled really hard by Lawnmower. Irene leveled again, Thesaurus leveled again, Low leveled, Nikki leveled, Bashley leveled, Gremlin leveled, Dead Heat acquired, okay. So Bashley should definitely survive the bonus bosses to power up, because he did not really have a health issue before, and now he's gotten like 400 more. So I'm feeling... Mostly good. Oh wow, Hello's health total barely moved at all. That's kind of scary. The fact that he has like a seven seven level advantage and he's getting out hit pointed by everybody now is kind of sad. Rip Hello. Uh. Anything else that I could? So. So again, his physical defense is out of control. I wonder if it's worth actually equipping him with a magic book just so he has magic resistance. Okay, so we know when we're being serious. We can remove this thing from Gremlin and give it to Thesaurus. So I think right now he's the only character that could survive two attacks no matter what version of attack they do. Lo, I think, still can't survive. Irene definitely can survive. She had a massive defense increase. And she leveled several times. And I should be able to rank up her other abilities. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And Bashley will probably be our backup character. So if I spam heal with hello, my only concern is he doesn't have enough raw health to survive turn to turn. But she got like one more upgrade. Oh, I could give him the uh yeah, I was gonna say, never mind. He could get a lot of magic resistance here with this. Might be worth it. Oh yeah, speaking of which, how close is he to actually learning his final abilities? One. <laughs> I was gonna say, it felt like a while. Speed down. Ooh, that would actually be good. Actually, speed down's kind of important to get. Uh, we That was one of the ones we just unlocked with the gold. So we know the, the gold hammer and lucky word don't really matter. We were working on death since we were just going in order, but speed down I think would also make the bonus bosses much easier. The only reason why we needed the health in the first place is that they were out turning us. But if we get this, it's kind of a big deal. Damn chat, if he had two more levels he could auto AoE. He's so close to being completely unstoppable in normal combat. I don't know if I really want to wait for those two levels though. I'm willing to try the bonus bosses again now that we've gotten much better equipment and levels across the board. I mean, technically the other character did get more tanky with apples. Maybe that'll make a difference. Point of this room. There's a door back there. We're over here. Let's take this door out first. Uh, timing puzzles, that means I'm probably not going to come back this way. So what's the other way? Oh, I tried canceling combat. Too slow. You surprised them. So I think we've seen all the enemies that are in here. Sadly, we have not unlocked a new Gatling for her. So we've gotten up to the 75s. Nothing else of interest has appeared. Try Pike Kick, maybe she'll unlock something from them. Wait, the Saurus is outspeeding Hello? Wait, how much speed did the Saurus get? Wait, he was our slowest party member at one point. Why is he so fast now? Oops.
Well, getting that last kill is suddenly much more difficult than it used to be. So it's another timer puzzle. Doesn't quite feel right. This feels more like the entrance of the game. Maybe I lost track of where I was, because we kept doing stuff like this. I changed my mind, I'm gonna do this one first. Oh yeah, that one was much easier than the other one. Very lenient with the timing. That should have been the first one, to be honest. They should have swapped them. Uh, so we have a giant thing that I could probably knock down. Uh, so I open this, but I don't know how to reach this. Maybe this will open up the- oh, you know what it'll do? This will probably mean that if I go up north, I could probably... Let me get some north. Oh. This puzzle in reverse is interesting. Seriously? <laughs> Was I off by like a fraction of a second there? Come on. There we go. I got punished for running, ironically. That brief pause made me not line up. Oh, I'm sorry, the south. So I think if I go back this way, will it take me the way I want to go? I think so. Bonked. Item. Nine fist acquired. That's actually huge for bonus bosses. That is a huge pickup before bonus bosses. I think Chad would fully agree. Any damage boost on the boss is more than welcome. So we've gotten two levels worth of stats and now a new weapon on two of the characters that are about to deal with the bosses. We're doing health wise, not quite a full. I want to get like little bits and pieces of XP because I think some characters are pretty close to leveling again. We're gonna defend, defend, and man, chat. If we just had two more FP, I could just AOE kill them and leveling spells would be so fast. Let's go ahead and learn this ability. extra money in case I want to upgrade the other gun, but I probably don't before the bonus boss. That would need a hilarious amount of cash. Can only get it to like level 3 if I'm lucky, maybe 4. Alright, so we got a little lucky there. Are there any other things I could do here? Not really. We hit the end. Voice reaching Thesaurus's heart. Hey, Thesaurus, you with the deceptive shadow in your heart. Directly to my heart. Is that what you mean? Oh no, chat. A shadow heart, you could say? I am the wheel of the... I am the will of power, the spirit of Geo. Hey, Thesaurus, you want to liberate the ray point I control, you must expose the truth. Hmm. The truth? Hey, Kirk. Hope you're doing well.
So you're saying you could see inside my heart? Lies turn to shadows and fall as night, losing the ray point's light. Until you reveal your true self to me, the ray point won't be released. I was gonna say, I'm getting strong Persona vibes from this game currently. The truth. I'm still myself. Nothing's changed. And my truth is me myself. <laughs> I I hope that is not the I hope that is not the proper translation for what he's saying there. <laughs> I've just one can only hope, chat. One can only hope. The Sar Sevens. You are the hero from the past. Are now an arms member and are our future possibility. Yeah, me, myself, and I, exactly. But those are facts and not the truth. Facts and truth? A shadow of lies interrupt the truth's light. When I said before that unless you reveal your true self, the ray point won't be released. It's not facts, but truth that expels the shadows of lies. The truth releases the ray point. My heart has lies. Yes, I carry the lie that I am me, the Sara Sevens. So it was necessary to do this for the liberation and future of Slayheim. For the future of the liberated Slayheim, the Sara Sevens was necessary. So I threw myself out and became another me. What is that, like three of our party members have the same thing? That was my promise to him. So you became a hero because of your promise. There was something more important than winning. The battle of liberation. It was to unite the people of Slayheim. That was more important. If we had only won, we wouldn't have been any different from the enemy. The Slayheim throne. If we only threw power around, nothing would change. I am... The Slayheim Liberation Army is a unit that I took on... Oh, is a unit that took on the silly ideals I professed. That's why the Liberation Army couldn't lose me. Are you saying a hero isn't power? At least there are those who think that way. A hero isn't just power, but a symbol of power. Like the Sword Magus, peace isn't delivered by the hero. A hero should be a symbol for people to emulate and create their own peace. A hero isn't bestowed upon anyone, nor is it something to cling to. For the purpose of peace, the people join together to achieve a common goal. And once you grab it with your own hands, real peace will come. That was my hope for the future. Then I must ask the false hero. Why are you still a hero? Your battle should be over. I'm not hung up on the fact that I'm me. That I am me means that my ties to him are the ties to keep fighting. By me being me, his ideals have become a part of me. The guys from arms don't rely on me to be their hero, but fight with their own power. I am a person from the past, as opposed to the future which could be, which must be obtained. I don't rely on myself. I'm fighting together with them for the future, for tomorrow. You want the ray point released for the future you desire. Very well. And in my presence, I want you to disclose the unchanging eternal truth. I'm definitely not the hero of Slayheim, but I'll fight to save the people and bring peace to the world. That will never change. I'm Thesaurus Evans, and that's the truth. And the other truth is... The other truth? You're standing in our way, confronting us as a, a ruse. Rouse? It wasn't ruse. It wasn't the normal one. I guess it's Rouse. You're not an... You are not an obstacle. You're only a test to bring out our hidden potential. That's the other truth. I never imagined such an interesting answer. You certainly showed me your truth. There are no changes or shadows to the truth you spoke of. I'll release the ray point for the future you desire. The future you want. I guess doing him last kind of made sense in story context. Glad that order ended up working out, I guess. Yeah, I think in the really awkward translation way, this is supposed to be the canonical moment where he admits he's not the leader from the beginning of the game, I think was my takeaway from that conversation. So we already kind of figured that the, the character that was very handicapped and kept crying out for the protagonist 
was the original leader of the Slayheim army because they stayed behind to detonate the uh, weapon of mass destruction kind of thing. So we have basically taken on his persona. So I think that was supposed to go through that, but it just came across as like super goofy. Because <laughs> he's like, I am myself and me is who I am. It just, it just was really awkward. I don't know about that translation. Mickey 2 says, Thesaurus! You're all right, Thesaurus. Look, Thesaurus, see? Thesaurus, your power liberated the ray point. My power. So guys, life energies, Geo's mana has been liberated and is quietly filling up. Geo's mana will awaken future possibilities to sleep in Thesaurus. Force boost acquired. Boost is a force skill used by Thesaurus. A runaway heavy arm will deliver an attack on the enemy three times the normal force. You know what? That's sadly not really useful with how we've been leveling things. That's actually kind of annoying. So unless I have something that has like super good accuracy while also having some power, that's not very useful. Whereas lock-on is very, very strong and benefits us power dumping. And the weapons that we did add accuracy to are mostly useless, so... Do with that what you will, I guess. Okay. I could do another lucky card, but that's only going to level one character. I don't know if that really matters. So we have the floating fortress still to do. We could try Mount Chug Chug again, just to get a, a power check. Because two, two of the three characters I intend on fighting that boss ended up getting a weapon and a defense increase. So it's possible I could end up with something useful. I want to fly this over here because I got to fly to Mount Chug Chug anyway. Plus I want to get to a save point. Do something like this. So let's see. Can the other thing potentially be useful for the final ability or do I just ignore it because lock-on exists? That is garbage. That damage is actually garbage. Man, how is it weaker than... This thing better scale to the heavens, chat, is all I'm gonna say. So we, we somehow managed to get it to level 7, but it's like... It's weaker than lawnmower? I don't know, chat. Let's... Why even but like, is there a difference in how this targets over Lawnmower? Because like, Lawnmower we didn't even level correctly, and it's still stronger. No, this only attacks a group and Lawnmower hits all. What BS. <laughs> what BS that that weapon is so subpar. Unless it's like a multi-strike and the game is not informing, then that's somewhat fair. Because we did have one of those misleading weapons from Wild Arms 1, where... It had low power, but it hit twice. So if that hits twice, I could forgive it. If that doesn't hit twice, what a waste of time. Uh, let's try something. Let's prepare for the boss. So I'm gonna hope- so hopefully magic resistance up and sorcery up will make a difference. So from this point, I just need strength. My speed doesn't really matter, I don't think. Yeah, so let's- let's just become tankier. And also do more damage. And you need something that boosts... Or maybe I could do it the other way around. Something like this. Oh, never mind. Her other one is stronger. That doesn't really matter then. You have something that increases damage. You. You're, you're the only one that has it. I could just upgrade to this one. So if I do need to bring him in, at least he's slightly tankier. That might work. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't think we're using Vicky too. Oh, I could get rid of this. She's not worthy of this yet. So in theory, I could give this to like the Saurus to survive. Or give it to her. Then it lowers her attack power. No, I don't want to do that. Let, let's give him this thing. <laughs> So it increases its magic resistance for when the enemy inevitably uses something with it. It makes him parry more, and it does increase his damage quite a bit. So I will 
opt to not save in the event that I die, because I don't really want to wear what I'm currently wearing for the other encounters. Alright, so let's go back to Mount Chuck Chuck. Let's see how hard that fight is now that we've gotten two levels and many increases. Otherwise, we'll do another dungeon, but that won't be enough to level us, which will be sad. Uh, is my mic? Okay, so with these extra levels and new equipment, is this good enough? So we've gotten, I think, new stat boosts on as well. So keep in mind, a lot of things that we have are scaling off of our base stats. So those levels do make a difference with the uh, different rune equivalencies we have on. Alright, let's build meter. Let's build meter. We're gonna heal every turn. Oh, she's taking zero now? That's actually a huge difference. That is huge, chat. Wow, that armor increase made a big difference. Yeah, wow. How much are they doing at the Saurus now? Almost nothing. Wow, that's fantastic. Come on, hello. We gave you vitality up. Oh, even hello is not taking anything. So that's good. Levels OP, chat. So let's just build meter. We're going to heal every turn, because I don't trust the game. Because we know they have an AoE attack. This one did a lot of damage to us last time. How much will this do this time? It's still going to one-shot hello, I think. Unless he takes less damage here. That's so sad. Oh, wait, no, that didn't do full damage. Maybe that's fine, then. But he'll die next turn no matter what I do. So, sadly, the weak point here is hello. He doesn't have enough to survive. He needs, like, 200 more health. Everybody else is fine. Like, I could do whatever I want here. But he's our healer, so if they keep spamming this, I can't survive this. Who would have thought hello would be the reason we can't do this boss? That's so sad. Because if they just alternate on this, we can't do anything. So... There is something I could do... I know, I don't know how hello is the weak point in this party. There's one thing I could do to beat this, as is without power leveling, but it still requires grinding, sadly. I think it really matters what I do here, I think it's over. I don't have like another AoE healer. Like, the Saurus is clearly tanky enough now. So, what we could do... I need to grind out to lower their speed. If I can make it so that hello always goes first, then that should mean that I'm able to kill them. Because the reason why he's dying is because they're outspeeding him currently. Because they might not have a lot of health, but they might just spam this over and over. Ooh, a new attack. How much does that do? Not a lot. Okay. So I don't want to retry, so we're going to say no if the game prompts me. So, let's unlock speed down and try this boss again. Because I, they don't seem to be doing a lot of damage to the party, other than to hello. And somehow, even with vitality and response time up and all the other resist stuff, he's still not able to go first and he's still not able to out... Somehow, with like 700 sorcery, he's still not able to out heal how much they're doing, which is really sad. Because as you saw, like, he had he had almost max sorcery. He's still not able to heal himself in one shot. So, what we need to do... Is... I think it might be the Dan Dyrim. I don't know how to tell what move type is what without looking it up. So I think if we get 20 kills... We'll probably get speed down. It costs 69 FP to use, but I can force him to melee twice, and that should build enough meter. And if he gets targeted at all, he definitely will build up enough meter. So there's a little bit of a risk to this. 
I wish we had something that boosted his overall health. I don't think there is, though. No, there's not, really. Uh, the other question is... Was Thesaurus taking less damage from... Enchant Remember just told me, it's a true-false. Was Thesaurus taking less damage than Hello from the AoE attack? Because that might actually be a physical attack. So I might be able to gear around that, actually, without doing anything else as well. Let me check personal skills real quick. This could also help big time for this fight. So we did level quite a bit, so I can level my physical defense up. So he should be borderline unkillable right now. You have nothing of interest that I want, sadly. I don't think your levels matter anymore. I mean, I could give you advanced guard. Randomly full blocking normal attacks is hilarious. Uh, magic defense doesn't matter there. Let's give you physical defense up. That'll help with surviving some of those hits. Gremlin needs physical attack power up. I don't care about her other abilities. So she'd actually melee and do damage. And you can get magic defense up, which would potentially be huge in a couple levels. So let's see if this makes a difference. Yeah, like if if that uh, if that red guileless move or whatever is a physical move, we have a counter to that actually. Hmm. So I I just wish I knew which damage type it was. You know what I'm gonna do. Let's try one more thing, actually. So before I go into power leveling, I'm going to remove his holy tablet, which is normally kind of risky. I'm going to get rid of reflex and give him anything else that boosts defense, like gauntlet is probably fine. I don't think he needs anything too crazy. I want to see if actually just giving him reflex is good enough to survive the other attacks. Because if they're physical damage, then that should be fine. Because the other characters were not really close to dying, quote-unquote. Let me try that once, actually. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Get rid of this. I'll save this because I need to do stuff with this anyway. So this would... That would tank my sorcery pretty hard. I think I still need sorcery for healing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just equip them for the boss itself. I feel like she was also surviving more than Hello was. So maybe it is physical defense. I'll save it this time because the, the only thing I'm going to change between save files now is one rune. Because I want to try to get response down. If we can make them go slower than us, then I can afford to go like pure sorcery. And during our next story dungeon, we're going to attempt to unlock it. If we if we can level from this with a lucky card, that would mean that we get uh, potentially straight to level 49. And that would actually make a huge difference in uh, unlocking our other abilities. So I would prefer if we could to do it this way. I will do a small heal ability. So yeah, we're going to try this. So I've made him much tankier. I've slightly downgraded his defense, but he did get physical defense up. And instead of coin purse... Could bring in... Gauntlet? Oh no, he's... Gauntlet's already being used. Um... Alright, so assuming it's physical defense, let's put on Kid Gloves. So we resist basically all of their attacks. So I'm assuming between these things, even with reduced healing, we should be fine. The only thing that might nuke us is spell damage, but, you know, that's kind of... as per usual. So, if... 
if they are doing physical damage, then we're fine, because this should be a very hard counter to this. Between getting physical defense up, which we saw scales our defense hilariously. Um, we lose like 50 defense on him at base, but I think we get about that much back anyway due to the skill. And hopefully 80 more defense is good enough. So that way I'm not taking 1800. If we're even taking 1600, that would be good enough, potentially. Let's build meter. We'll build meter. Need to build meter this turn. Oh, immediately spamming this attack. That's unfortunate. Is this GG because they immediately started with this? No, that didn't seem to impact the damage they had. That kind of sucks. Huh. So it's just random if they do that attack? That kind of blows. So at least we're immune to them physically, but maybe that just does set damage? That's kind of unfortunate. Last time they didn't even do that at all. They did. They waited like three or four turns. I think this is GG. I don't think I can survive this. Oh, wait, it's doing single target attacks. Maybe I'll be fine. Okay, I don't know what's going on anymore, chat. I think we lost to 7th Moon. I think I got 7th Moon, chat, officially. I know. I think I got hard 7th Moon. I'm sadly probably still gonna die here. Because I didn't heal. So I have to heal every turn, I think, to counter this. We'll do lock on with lawnmower, maybe. She should be immune to that, because we did buffer physical defense. I mean, the battle's still going. Let's do some damage to them. Thank you, Lawnmower, for existing. Hopefully everybody survives this. Huh. I mean, it's going okay, but I don't think it's due to my choices. It's just the game is having mercy at the moment. We're just gonna spam Lawnmower every turn. And we're gonna keep first dating. And hopefully we outspeed. Please don't one-shot the character. Uh, okay, it didn't one-shot. It didn't one-shot. <laughs> right, Chad? It did, we're barely alive. So we're, we're getting some damage in. So I can't say we're not impacting the game. The downside is we don't know how much health they actually have. So if they do both of those attacks back to back, it's just kind of GG. I don't think I can survive that. We'll do a Gatling 3 to try to do more damage. I'm gonna keep spamming this. Just hope that I first aid before they do anything serious. So like right now we're making some progress at least. So I, I do think our weapon upgrade did make a difference and our levels did help with Irene specifically. She's doing some pretty good damage now. So I just gotta keep tossing bombs until I'm out essentially. To just keep weakening both of them. Thirty-nine thousand tons. That did no damage. Oh, hey, maybe, maybe we have this if they don't, if they behave. Ooh, this is gonna be close. Don't use the Black Leas, and we should be fine. Oh, this is gonna be so close. All right, we might lose next turn if they do this again. Because this is as good as my healing can get. Or if we somehow kill one of them. I don't know how much health they actually have, but in theory... Oh, she's gonna build a ton of meter here. That's actually huge. 
So I've been trying to nuke them at least. So the battle's still going. So they probably have a lot of health. I don't know if it'll be like 30,000 each or 40,000 or 50,000. But I'm imagining they're supposed to be quite difficult to kill. Let's try using Arc Kick. We've almost exhausted our lawn mowers, which is fine. But if we get Red Gleeist again, it's over. Okay, that did some damage, but it's not too bad. Okay, we're in a good position to keep going. As long as Hello is near full health, we should be fine. So we're averaging about... 2,000 a turn. So it could take a while at this rate. But we're making progress. I would love to be able to spell cast with hello, but they're just doing too much damage. Uh, let's try Vortex Cut. Uh, I think what I want to do is try to heal hello, no matter what here. Use a first aid. I was hoping items would improve priority of speed, but I don't think it's gonna out priority, sadly. Damn. What I was worried about, that's why I was trying to counter. Oh, so sad. Is he gonna heal himself? Oh, he just wastes his entire turn. Kind of brutal. Yeah, when they stack like this, this is I'm getting seventh moon. I, I think there's no counter to this right now, unfortunately. Unless I just straight up out speed. So defense didn't seem to matter against this, sadly. Hmm. So sadly, chat, we're being 7th mooned. I mean, there, there's not much I could really do about that if they just loop that over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. Th this is the boss AI. I really hope that they don't have a Wild Arms 3. Like, this is where I appreciate games like Etrian or Final Fantasy 4 and 6, where, like, dependent on health, they do certain things, or you can activate them in certain phases. I just don't enjoy pure RNG attacks. Like... If all they do is just not spam Gleas back to back, if they if one does red Gleas and the other doesn't do a Gleas, it's fine. But if they just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over, I can't win, which is not really fun. Like there's like what is the strategy other than just be higher level? So the best I can really do is unlock maybe speed down. But it's gonna be a long battle. I think either way here. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave it on Coin Purse. I think the other abilities did not matter. We're going to get rid of Reflex on this character, because it made literally no difference. Uh, Maybe Talisman will make him survive? We could try that as a backup. I'm just trying to think if there was, like, literally anything else so that I don't get one shot like that again. Maybe that'll work. So I don't think anything else really matters. Oh, we're not using the Weather Vane currently? Why? Why was I not using the Weather Vane? Oh well. Let's try this again. I could technically tag in Bashley over Irene because he's probably going to build a million meter. So what we're going to do is... We are going to bring him in next time. He didn't get a defense increase, which I don't know if that'll matter. Because she was definitely able to tank like the 40,000 tons. So we could try to bring in Bashley. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to speed down them. And then see if we could beat them after this. But sadly, this is going to require grinding right before we have the ability to AoE clear. Which I didn't really want to do, but I think we should do this. Counter rate, please. Don't make me do the encounter rate razor. Yeah, yeah, we surprised them, whatever. Single enemy, come on.
Oh, I did Rock Bolt. That's kind of our slowest attack. Alright, we need to go to an area with, like, a lot of enemies. Only 78. I don't know if that'll make a difference. We're, we're still, like, a little bit shy. If Talisman healed, like, 120 or, like, 150, which is still not a lot relative to our health, I think that would have been good enough. I don't think 78 is good enough. Might be better for me to just keep Sorcery up. Come on, give us more than, like, single enemy encounters, please, so I can level. Better. Actually, can you just melee? Because that would save me a lot of time over spellcasting. Yes. Damn, imagine trying to walk up and hit hello and he just says no, whirls the staff and melees you to death. That's pretty disrespectful. I don't think we're anywhere near leveling again, which is the sad part, because it's that, like, even if we get, like, let's say we get 30,000 from the final dungeon. It's still not quite enough to level hello. Oh, is this increasing what I wanted to? Okay. You know what we're gonna do, actually? If we beat that other boss, hello leveling actually would matter, so we're gonna fight until hello levels. So... We're gonna focus on unlocking that skill, and we're gonna get one more level. And I think between those two things, we should be good. We're gonna retry the, the fight. Because I think we're just getting hard stat checked. I think uh, Thesaurus is fine, Irene is fine, Vashley's fine. Vicky's probably okay, but she... I'm not really sure how much damage she'll do. I guess in theory we could see if she damages the boss. Or not. So, in theory, we should be able to get something useful. Also, this area might have some upgrades for the other character, which is nice. Oh, that's right, that doesn't... It's such a long animation to sit through. Why? So many questions, chat. So we could get an armor increase, which will help if I don't want to use Reflex on him. I don't think he was really losing to those other things at all. Seriously, why do we have to sit through this animation? This drives me wild. So then we're going to go through here. And I'm just going to do this. And we got to sit for like eight seconds every time I do this. Game, please. There we go. So I don't think we ever went past this part, because we just got the Mist Cloak and left. Which, to be fair, was a good idea- oh, item, I think. I think was a good idea, because we did end up getting all those other abilities. Nice. Oh boy, chat, a crest I will never use. Alright, what's the puzzle in here? One wrapped in a Mist Cloak guided by the wind won't lead- Won't lead far. Okay, so wants me to Mist Cloak, presumably. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> right, chat? That was a, that was a seriously moment. Wow. That was off. What was that? Maybe like a couple pixels, chat? Like, I physically clipped through the thing I was trying to land on. So bad. Alright, so there's no effect on me if I'm not doing that. There's no air coming from that vent currently. Is there a way to rotate where it's targeting? I could just see where this wants me to go. Oh. They really should push you further with that, I'm just saying. Seriously? How close to the edge do you want me to be? Game, please. I swear. You should be able to do it from here, chat, and teleport across. Instead, I gotta go, like, almost pixel perfect. Like, look at that. I still almost didn't make it. Crazy. When facing the wind asked by way of wind, then the wind flow will answer. Don't know what that means. Well, I guess we'll continue forward, I suppose. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I guess. Hmm. I 
And I'm just gonna drop off, right? Other than switch tools or do whatever it wants me to do to get back. Hmm. Oh well, so I'm assuming we can't do anything in this room yet. How am I doing health-wise? Oh, we didn't even take fall damage, nice. Alright, so there is a weather vane. Might dictate wind in the other room. Now it's probably going up, right? Oop. So I could go over there. Or I could try rotating it again. I'm gonna go get the treasure chest and then we can figure out where to go from there. Oh, does it only go between two points? That's a little disappointing actually. Well, I mean, it's fine I guess. Unless it cares where we aim this. If it goes upwards, it doesn't matter. matter. Oh, I love how paper thin that is, chat. That's actually crazy. Look at the look at the graphics disappear. <laughs> oh PS1. You're pulling an N64 on me. Okay. Remember, there's a chest back there I haven't attained. Oh, we're going straight into a boss fight? Where are the enemies? I want to protect everyone. Don't get in my way. Same kind of boss as before. Let's build meter. We're gonna attack the shield. And I'm gonna use lock on the lawnmower, because I'm tired of him missing like an idiot. Um a second lucky car. We you know what I could do first. Let's FP shift. Then a lucky card next turn. So that way Thesaurus can get another grenade next turn. Guaranteed. Without needing to melee. Lawnmower, so that'll put him at about half health. Let's go ahead and use. You know what's sad? I could just feed him carrots so I don't have to work hard, but. Alright, so if I use my last lucky card here, I'm assuming we're gonna fight at least six optional bosses. We'll save the rest for the optional bosses. We can always get more if we need it, but I think right now I need to level so that I can start doing the bonus bosses. So we'll, we'll take what we could get here. Alright, so the shield should be pretty injured now. Low getting hit here is huge, because that gives me more to FP shift. Because I'm imagining we need to get approximately to, like, level 55 or so, because that's about how far we got in, like, Wild Arms equivalency. Because that's when we can start using our nonsense abilities full-time. So if every boss ends up giving, like, 100,000 or more, we're probably gonna gain, like, two levels of bonus boss, if I had to guess. Oh, that's interesting. That time it- oh! So it is healing 10% of her health. Wait, I think we're actually good then. If Talisman heals 367, that means I should never die to Gleas? Oh, we'd actually do the bonus boss right now. Um, Let's try to do other things first though. I don't have enough meter for the other abilities, that's so sad. We're gonna FP shift again. This might kill the shield, I'm not sure. It, it is pretty injured right now. 
Worst thing that happens is we might get a single melee attack with Thesaurus, which I think is fun. That should all go to Thesaurus, fortunately. Yeah. So he didn't have enough meter to do anything interesting, but it should just be GG here. So if I attack first at all, it's over. Oh, I'll use Mini Scud, who cares? We'll, uh... Oh, yeah, we also have these. Which I've been very hesitant to use. I guess I could first aid if he goes for. Oh, I can't. I guess I could just melee, because it's funny. Should be pretty close to dead. Yeah. Thank you, Art Kick. So one more level here might speed up the gameplay on the bonus boss. A lot of money. Irene hit level 41. The Sars hit 41. That's important. Low levels. So that's a little more XP than I was expecting. So that's good. Because I think they could already survive. I think chat would agree. Like, they were not... The only reason they died is because the healer didn't heal. So I think... So I think between... So he still didn't go up that much health. So he gained 30 health. But... He is getting some natural defense boosts. Maybe this will be good enough? Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to turn around and do the bonus boss right now. And not bother completing this dungeon. If we response speed down them, I think it's guaranteed that we... Well, I don't know if it's guaranteed because they could just do the stupid... uh. Leah's attack back to back, and I have no counter to that. Oh wait, how do I get? Oh, I maybe have to hook shot. Is there really no other way to rotate the weather vane in a way that's helpful, or does it care like what direction I am? Because it feels like that's gonna take me like really far away. So what if I do it while here? Where does it go? Man, I wish I could speed up this animation. It's so slow. Oh, so that is different. So maybe depending on where I shoot it from. Yeah, so we could have gotten this chest earlier. Oops. What was in the chest? Damage weapon for hello? I don't think that matters. I don't think that matters. So where do we need to have it aim next? Is the Wow, I went to wire hook and I fell off anyway. That sucked. Uh, so there's, so we need to make it face to the south. Hmm. Okay. That should be it. There we go. I think it was just the opposite direction I hit it. I just didn't test it enough to figure it out. That wasn't my bad. I think it was a hard puzzle. Uh, Him getting magic resistance here would matter. Okay, maybe. Right, chat? Like, maybe? Maybe, question mark? He can survive now. We're gonna leave him with his super resist setup. And I guess we just go try to do the bonus boss again. We have one more level. Which, as we've seen, levels matter. That gives me more safety health. Like, we went from barely having... I think Irene, for example, had 3,800 health. She has 4,300 health now. And I can always come back. I don't feel like doing this dungeon. And I could always come back with speed down if I really think I need it. But let, let's try to win with what we have without unlocking new abilities. I'm kind of thankful there doesn't seem to be a lot of encounters here, because we don't need them anymore. <laughs> we'll take that. So Thesaurus is definitely tanky enough. I think Chat can agree. He was the only character that could survive the, the quadruple Gleas. Irene came close. Maybe with her level up, she'll achieve it. I'm just going to land arbitrarily so I can teleport. This will be faster than flying. The only thing I need to make sure is when we go into the fight, I'm at full health. 
Because if, if we get double Gleas, I could die instantly. We're gonna go ahead and burn some heal berries, because I got no other purpose for them at this point. Alright, so let's go ahead and improve our arms. Get our bullets back, so I think we're gonna need every bullet we have. Good arm upgrade, his other weapon. I guess there's no downside to this. So if I'm really desperate, chat, we at least have an okay third option to hurt the bosses. So... We should win. It just might be very tedious at this level. Is there anything we can use with our personal skills? I think he could get magic defense up. Might be relevant. I could give her advancing guard if I want. I don't think I care about these other abilities at all. Yeah, I don't care about resistances at all. Don't care. That's the ability up to use is probably minus one. She doesn't even use it to begin with. Critical ups counter. For its remaining FP to HP. I don't think I really care. I'd rather have her just auto block randomly. We've seen that that is useful. It's it's not as strong as like the other ability ups, but when we're at like 500 or a thousand health, which happens pretty often in boss battles, and they do single attacks, which we've seen even in the other battle battle happens, just guaranteeing we don't take the damage is huge. That's just kind of a safety net. So let's try with this setup. So this is like pure sorcery. We got upgrades here. I should heal 10% of my health every turn. Is there anything that improves our damage at all? I don't think there was, right? Put Reflex back on. Hmm. Put on uh, maybe Gauntlets for tankiness. Let's try something like this. Also, what's our luck total like at the moment? Worst luck, bad luck, best luck. Wow, everybody's the best luck except for our melee characters. That's so sad. <laughs> right, chat? Wow, that's actually sad. <laughs> no luck, chat. Big F in the chat for our luck bonuses, of course. Alright, so let's try this again with one more level. I think we could do this now. I think between healing 300 health a turn, or 370 health a turn, and possibly just taking low, lower damage in general, I think he should survive now, in theory. And our minimum damage is raised, because the other character is leveled up. So once we kill a bonus boss, I think we'll get unstuck for a while. So we're going to use like all of our lucky cards on these encounters. I could, in theory, check the other bonus bosses to see if they're easier, but we're, we've are we committed at this point. I want to beat this one first. So we're going to go for it. So as long as I first aid every turn, I shouldn't die to Gleas. The other characters could do whatever they want. So yeah, small stat boosts. I'm not worried about them surviving. Bashley should survive. So if I really need another melee character over Irene, we could do it. Him upgrading to the superpower form might be useful. So maybe if Thesaurus runs out of gas, I'd replace him. Which is possible. They could have like a bazillion HP and become basically unkillable. I think for now I'm just going to spam these attacks. We're going to do lock on with one mower again. It's so sad that I can't hit more than one of these. So that's not a lot of damage. Gliath's <laughs> Moon, pretty much. Right now our damage is not great, but she'll build up to it. So when Thesaurus is out of items, I think we'll just replace him with uh, Bashley to finish the job. So we're going to do whatever we can now. Ooh, that did it in really high amount of damage to her. That could be bad. She could die from this. 
Uh, we'll meet her here. Please don't, Leas. All right, that's fine. Yeah, Thesaurus takes like no damage in comparison. So as long as he's always heal spamming, we should be fine. And if Irene dies, we have other characters to sub in if we need to. Critical's actually huge here. This could save us a lot of time. Yeah, see, that, that does some big damage. Okay, even if it hits a low here, he should heal. Which is an important reason why we have that health regen, by the way. Because I think that normally would have been just straight up GG. Let's go ahead and wire fist. We're gonna go ahead and lock on a lawnmower. We're gonna keep spamming first aid. Uh, we're not getting Glea Moon. Or maybe we are? They have more than one of these? Uh-oh. Is this game over? Oh, the health! The health from Talison mattered! <laughs> wow, we would have died. That actually would have been it, Chad. I'm not even kidding. Oh, please don't do that again. So they have two Glea Moons. Oh, that really sucks. I don't think there's anything I could do about that. Okay, so I can replace Irene with Bashley, but I can still get Gleas Mooned. I mean, if they Gleas Moon me next turn, I die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So even though I am geared for this, I don't think it matters. If they Gleas Moon, it's over. Uh, Maybe I survive? Oh, barely. Come on, Talisman, put in the work. Don't target hello, and then we're fine. Then hello might survive that again. Holy. Yeah, this is rough. I wonder what level the game thinks I should be. So we're averaging about 4,000 a turn. So in theory, at some point, <laughs> they should run out of ability. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Our odds of losing have increased like tenfold. Yeah. Like, Hello can survive one strike, so if they do the white thing and it targets him, it's not a game over. But there's a really good odd I'm about to get one shot here, and there's nothing I can do about it. That's the- okay! Okay! We're, we're still in it. We're still in it. Okay. I'm just hoping to kill one of these things at some point. I love that I've been able to spam lock on every turn though. That is hilarious to me. I might sub out Irene for Bashley for more damage. Thinking about it. So if I want to retry it again, I might do it with this. So if she gets really injured here, I might just sub her out right now. There, the odds of her surviving a turn are basically zero. Let's sub her out right now. If we're desperate, we can sub into Vicky too. She's got 4k health, so that actually kind of matters. Gremlin will probably die instantly, because Gremlin is garbage. <laughs> Maybe one day she'll upgrade into a real character, but today is not that day. Uh, let's build meter. Let us use lock on again. I guess I could have had armor down. I think that would have helped. If I put armor down on the uh, usable item, I think that would have been huge for us actually should survive this. Yeah, that's fine. He's got more health than I Irene does, so he should be able to take a lot of melee moves. So once Bashley upgrades, I'm just going to keep attacking with him over and over. I might want to actually consider using a carrot to speed things up a little bit. Oh, free critical? Okay. Listen, chat, we're not going to say no to free damage. Oh, you're targeting Bashley again? That's actually huge. That's actually huge. Uh... I think I just want to build meter, so I'm going to regular attack. We're going to regular attack. We're going to first aid. So Talisman made enough of a difference, I think, to get through some of the bad RNG. So this is normally like a really painfully bad thing for that to happen to us. Bashley might die. I don't think there's much I could do about that. The 
thanks to Talisman, we shouldn't die? On another critical, so Ashley should be able to power up here. Lock on a oh, out of one mower. We'll do mini scud on the red one. Don't use Gleas. Okay, okay. Okay, chat, we have a shot. They didn't do it. This is good. I'm back at full health. Thank you, Talisman. <laughs> Talisman the hardest carry right now. It's not even funny. Yeah, let's let's try to do some big damage here. So we're gonna focus the red one. Since it seems tankier than the other one, maybe it has like a gimmick that if it if it dies first, it'll be easier to kill the other one. So we powered up. Ooh, how much is this gonna do? This could be bad. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Oh no! Oh, I don't think I can survive this. Oh, come on, we're so close! Man, please don't target hello. He advanced guard! <laughs> yes! Oh, the RNG! Yes! Advanced guard! <laughs> oh my gosh, that could have been it. Wow, no. <laughs> Chat, no, the run continues. Oh, now it's on. Wow. Advancing guard MVP. Holy. All right, we're going in. So we could do Mad Lucid if I want to see what the damage is like. See how much damage that does. We're going to lock on again with Mini Scud. Okay, that's okay if it hits a low. We're about to heal. That's fine. If it hit the Saurus, that might have been a problem. Because he might not have survived the Gleas Storm. Yeah, how much damage is Mad Lucy doing? So we got his upgraded ability. Okay, that's real damage. I think we're making progress on this boss fight, finally. So we're... Oh, Gleas. Okay, at least we'll auto health regen at the end. How much will Bashley take? Bashley takes like nothing. Nice. So we could try Gunblaze. Um, could defend if I'm really not sure, but we're gonna just keep pushing this until this thing dies. Oh, that's fine. So we heal about that much with first aid. The hello no longer dies. The Thoris can tank any other hit. How much Gunblaze does? Oh, what? How much damage does Bashley do? Wait, I thought it was only a small power increase. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, chat. That's kind of game-changing amounts of damage. So we did 6,000 that turn instead of just 2,000. So we're doing almost triple our damage output. Holy. Bashley, please. Oh, Talisman MVP. Thank you, Talisman. I mean, now that they're just building him meter, I don't have a reason to not just keep doing this. Oh, please, please let the other character not AoE. We could game over here if this is an AoE. No! We're doing so well! Come on! Not the AoEs. Man. So unfortunate. Oh, there's nothing we could do about that. Wow, we were making such progress. That is so sad. It's over. Unless this boss dies right here, it's uh -oh. over. We may be in no. trouble. Man. We got Gleas. Gleas Moon. Alright, let me do sub you in. Sub you in. Ugh. Let's see if I can salvage this. So Gremlin needs to just troll. I could use an Ambrosia. Is there anything else she could do for damage? You know what? I might as well just use this. She should have a revive if I really need to use it. So 
So, I think I know what I want to do next time. I think we can win, but it still has a little bit of RNG to it. So I'm going to use her armor down to start the battle, and then sub in Bashley. And then I think we will win next time. We still could win in theory if the enemy does... I think on what the enemy does here. We could still make a comeback from this, in theory. Oh, I got the full revive out. Just don't AoE me here, and we got a chance. So I'm going to use Remote Battery, see if we can salvage this victory. If this does damage, this also is a game changer. Oh, it has a weakness to Lightning. That's actually good to know. Immediately spam the AoE. That is so unfortunate. Alright, we might be able to survive this, maybe. Alright, we, we have to pray for no AoE or the fight is over. So we got our main character back, aka hello. I... Probably just want to melee. I cannot believe we've not gotten a kill yet. Could use Banisher. He doesn't have enough for first aid. Oh, I think it's over. That really sucks. He didn't revive with enough. I don't think there's any party heal, right? Yeah, I think it's over. That's so sad. If he could somehow live another turn, he would probably be fine. You know what? Let's go out swinging, chat. <laughs> yeah, it's it's over. Got a weed. This is so stupid. I hate bosses like this, chat. Like, I think we can actually beat it. So let, let me let me retry, but I want to try one more thing. So unless... Okay, so we, we curve bad RNG, but we can't beat worst RNG. Double Gleas, we could survive. We cannot survive Tidal Wave now. Tidal Wave does too much damage. So what I'm going to do... I think I know what I want to do. I If I can armor down the one on the left, I think we'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is let's replace what we have in here. I might leave one remote battery in as like a finisher. Let's get a level two in here. We're going to erase one of the remote batteries. Then we're going to do... Oh, I could reduce their speed with this. I didn't think about that before. Maybe that's good enough? Hold on. Now now we're using every possible resource. I forgot she had slowdown. Uh, and then I just need armor down. Where's armor down? Oh. Is it a level 1 magic? in the penguins. I don't know what you're talking about, Calvisham. What? I'm so lost. Oh, we're oh there it is. <clears throat> yeah. There. No, I don't. You're spoiling stuff, Calvisham. I haven't even beaten a bonus boss yet. They are too strong for me still. I'm gonna try this though. Maybe I'll win this time. Even with the power leveling of the other character, it is surprisingly not enough. So if I had gone like another few repetitions with the boss, and I put hello at level 49, I think that actually would have made a difference. So then we would have been in like the mid 50s by this point. It just... He can't survive the boss's stupid AoE attack, and there's nothing I could do to boost health in this game. I'm surprised there hasn't been, like, a life orb equivalency that raised health. Like, we've beaten literally all but, like, one dungeon at this point, and the whatever dungeons after that. So to me, that's kind of crazy we've gone this far without getting a uh, HP booster.
No, I, I don't know what you're spoiling, Calvisham, but I prefer you not do that. Let's organize here. Let's go through here. So I can full carrot to keep spamming. Oh, I have one vitality apple. None of that matters. Uh, I guess they're kind of penguiny. I don't know. I didn't really think about their appearance. I'm more thinking about their damage. They're quite annoying. I think this should work then. So the only thing we need to have happen is not get the worst possible RNG, and then we're fine. So we have everything else we need to defeat them. Yeah, this is like 7th Moon all over again, where if we come back in like 5 levels, this fight is going to be like really easy. But it's like, man, they just have so much health. I mean, we must have done like 30,000 plus damage, chat. Like, that, we did not do a low amount of damage in that fight. I'll put it that way. Because we had uh, Bashley out forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Use Armor Down with her. Actually, I could do Double Slow Down. Let's do Double Slow Down. Spam first aid. Yeah, this is, this is part of the nonsense of why we weren't able to beat it. So they immediately started with AoE. I'm glad I immediately healed. Yeah, they did their most powerful combo again. How annoying. Let's see if this works. So if Slowdown connects, I think we win. If Slowdown doesn't connect, then it's the same issue we had last time. I don't know how to tell. Oh, it did. Response down 450? What was their speed? Only 50 for that one. O okay. It's kind of a kind of a dynamic range we got there, but whatever. Now let's try this. We have Irene to potentially come back in. Or Blue Donna. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and armor down. And we're gonna go ahead and lock on a pineapple. No no, lawnmower, lawnmower. We're gonna spam heal. Okay, so we are out speeding now, which is interesting. Maybe it's doable with all those combos. Okay, good. We built meter. So Bashley went second there, which is a bit unfortunate. I should probably check to see if he could have had a better uh in. But I think with all of these stat downs, we could finally beat this stupid enemy. Yeah, that's that's a huge uh, debuff. So we like Vicky's spells, we just don't like using Vicky. <laughs> that's what I've learned. When when you don't have a 50-something requirement to use it, her abilities are fine. Let's build meter. Let's use lock on again with lawnmower. Spam first aid every turn. So now that we're not getting Glee is stormed, I should be able to out heal them every time now. Which is important. So I think we have now officially won, since they seem to always be going slower so far. Okay, armor down, not as big of a damage difference as I was hoping. Like, it helps a little bit. And I think due to the boss's total health, it'll make a difference, but it's not... I'm not doing like 2,500 plus. I'm only doing like 400-ish more. That felt kind of more literal. We're gonna use lawnmower again. We're gonna first aid again. Uh, so I think we should win now. Between our level ups, so that the characters can actually survive the, the stupid Gleas spam, I think we're fine. So we're gonna heal first here, no matter what, which is good. So that removes that RNG. The Thesaurus will survive no matter what. Hello, might still die. <laughs> But I should go first, so I can have characters like Thesaurus heal hello, maybe. Although he still went last, so maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this didn't make as much of a difference as I was hoping for, so we could transform him. 
Because the problem is the same thing that's gonna happen here. I'm gonna heal and then still die to Glia's Storm. So if they do it again, it's over. Or if they do that, that's also over. Uh, if they target him again, GG. <laughs> Just GG. So sadly, even with the uh, response speed down, the Saurus and Bashley are still not outspeeding the enemy. That's actually a problem. So I might have to adjust their equipment so that doesn't happen again, but... I mean, unless the other enemy melees, then we win. But again, it's just... It feels like it's still out of my hands with this boss, whether or not we win. I think I survived Black Leas. I don't survive Tidal Wave. No, never mind. It's over. So sad. Uh, we'll do... We'll do Mad Lucid. Just keep in mind, even if I revive, I can't use first aid right away. So, even with him being like eight levels over leveled, he's still getting one shot by this BS. I can't first aid, so I don't think there's a way to recover from this. Unless I tag them out. Maybe if I tag out and block, maybe that'll work. But I can only do that once per boss fight. Like, I absolutely cannot afford for these characters to die. Do I just... Maybe I just... <sighs> I the problem is, I can't block. I, I need to make sure he has meter. So we're gonna sub in Vicky and Gremlin. Is there anything Vicky has on her that is useful for this fight? The so Gremlin will hopefully... Full carrot below, because I really don't want to mess around with this. Is there anything else I could do that would save me? Not really. I could armor down the other characters since I'm here. I, I, I well actually no, that's fine. That's fine. I wanted to block to survive, but you know what? If he melees, then it doesn't matter. That could have been a lot worse, but we'll take it. So he'll build meter, and maybe he'll be able to first aid more consistently. Yeah, now we can first aid for sure. This was the backup in case something else happened. Alright, so Gremlin's probably dead. She actually survived, well. Wow. Alright, so we're gonna try again. We're just so annoying with their RNG chat. I hate this. If they just stopped spamming Glias for, like, not back-to-back, -back, we would be completely fine. Instead, it's, like, full panic every time. So stupid. Let's do this into Gunblaze into First Aid and hope that this time they don't one-shot hello. Other characters dying don't matter as much because the one that survives can continue attacking. So this is fine. Just don't double target Bashley. So now we're back to doing some damage to the boss, which is good. I might just have Bashley defend for a turn so he survives. That puts me in the same situation as last time. Please stop targeting me with that. I beg of you, please stop targeting my only spellcaster with that. That is so annoying. Can I preemptively revive on a character? I can. I don't know if that'll help me. Sure, you know what? Why not? Preemptive revive, who cares? Uh, defend and heal? Maybe this will make a difference? Okay. They targeted Bashley, but he's defending, so this doesn't matter. That no, doesn't matter. What is the other enemy doing? Well, that did actually heal us. Which is hilarious. Okay, we're back in the game. We're finally out of the I could die any minute thing. So we're gonna just launch Mini Scud. We're gonna use Banisher, which did a lot of damage to everything. 
We're going to spam first aid, and hopefully we do not get the tidal wave, tidal wave, tidal wave, tidal wave. We could survive Gleas. Oh, we're getting tidal waved. <sighs> so irritating. Please stop using this attack. It does so much damage. Please stop using the tidal wave. It's the only attack pattern we can't survive now. We can survive literally everything else but that. So hopefully this gets a kill soon. We'll see though. We're gonna activate Banisher, see how much it does. 6,000 to both. But it does revert yeah. us. So even with their damage burst, they still have too much health. Man, even with armor down, this character is still not dead. Please perish. <laughs> crazy how much health they have, Chad. It's crazy. Uh, I'm just going to throw a revive fruit preemptively. And I'm just going to go ahead and access again. Because apparently I'm at 100 meter for some reason. Wait, why was he at 100 meter? Wait, actually, genuine question. How did Bashley end up at 100 meter? Huh. I mean, I'll take it. Alright, we're preemptively throwing the revive fruit. I don't care anymore. Please don't- Okay, that's perfect! Okay! Now it doesn't matter if they AoE, we're fine. Because even if they do this, Hello will be healed. So now the tidal wave doesn't matter anymore, because he'll be healed by this. So, revive fruit putting in the work on living characters, I am not gonna lie. Now we're gonna go back to our superpower form. So we just need to kill one of them and this boss battle is over. This reminds me of Radiant Historia, but like way more annoying RNG. Oh, that's actually bad. The Saurus could die. Um, Have him defend maybe for a turn. We could do a normal attack here, first aid. Maybe he'll survive with defend. being targeted, but he is defending. Okay, that didn't do a lot of damage. That's huge. Randomly getting critical, we'll take that. Dramatic critical. Please kill this enemy. <laughs> Chat, of course it's Tidal Wave. What else would it be? Good thing he's defending. So defend does cut out a lot of damage, but the problem is we can't predict when they're gonna Tidal Wave, which has been the big problem of this fight so far. If they had a predictable pattern, we would be fine. Holy. I'm glad I defended there. He would have 100% died. So we're out of kill range again. We're getting tidal waved again, of course. Seventh moon again. Yeah. Come on. No! Come on! Stop it with double tidal wave! Please kill one of these characters. Please, I beg of you. Please actually kill one this time. We've done so much damage at this point. Please perish. Still not dead. Insane. They must have like 40,000 plus health at this point. Because we've done so much damage to them at this point. Like just from grenades alone, we did 10,000. And the fact that they're still living is insane to me. Um, I guess we'll just keep using mini scud. I'm going to use gun blaze again. We're in a first aid, and hopefully we survive. If they double title wave, it's over, I think. Please do not double title wave. Okay, that's fine. We win. We win this round, more specifically. Even if they title wave here, it does not matter. Please perish. These things are so unbelievably tanky. Still not dead, chat. They're taking 6,000 a turn right now. There's been like three turns of this so far. So they've done 18,000 combined, plus 10,000 from grenades. Still not dead. Actually, actually bonkers. Fortunately, Black Leus is much weaker than Tidal Wave, so I will take that all day. Tidal Wave is the only attack I do not want to see. So we're gonna lock on again, chat. We've used up all of our lawnmower shots. I could make him full ammo clip just so that I could get the AoE in there. We're gonna gun blaze again. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal again. So the moment one of them is dead, the fight is over because they can't injure it unless they get some new super BS solo attack. The other one doesn't do enough damage to kill us. So please perish in the next like two turns, I beg of you. <laughs> still not dead! They're still not dead! Oh 
my gosh. What is this health total? Chat, actual madness. <laughs> I think we can agree, actual madness. Um... Just, wow. I We actually, okay, we ran out of bullets. I might as well just save up her real gun at this point. Screw this, I'm just punching. Lucky card, I think, only matters at... Yeah, I think it just matters at the end, so we're, we're gonna wait. Alright, we're gonna try to get the SARS to use Railgun and hopefully end this fight. Perfect, they attacked him with melee. That does, like, nothing to him. Oh my gosh, is it, is it gonna die, chat? Finally? No? health is this? What is this? I feel like we're above 40,000 damage at this point. Holy. This thing is actually unkillable. Please perish. Wow. Is every boss battle this, this like, tanky? Holy. Alright, depending on who it targets, this could be a problem. Okay, didn't target hello. That's fine. We should be a max meter now. So I can go ahead and use Railgun to hopefully kill them, since they are taking on average 5,000 plus a t Oh my gosh, one of them finally died. Oh my gosh, okay. Jeez. I want chat to help look up how much health these things had, because this was insane. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and... You know what, we're, we're gonna do- we're gonna do the lock-on with Railgun, I'm tired of you. Okay, Bashley's gonna lucky card. We're gonna just heal. I did like 10,000 to the other one, so it, it's still gonna take a while. I'm just making sure we get lucky card immediately. The amount of levels we're gonna get from this is probably gonna be completely busted. Alright, we're unleashing the railgun chat. <laughs> like, I've had enough. Please perish. Thank you. Some damage dealt. Okay, let's see if we could go in. Uh, I think we learned last time they're weak to lightning. Let's just build meter. Unblaze again. We're gonna use uh, plasma tap. I am not gonna bother to see if you can steal something from this boss. I, I wanna just be done with this boss. Counter attack is fine. There we go. Here it comes, chat. 6k. The damage dealer is freed from healing duties. We can finally beat this boss. Holy railgun again. Oh, how close is he building? Oh, he's almost at max meter. Oh, I want to finish it with the super shot. We're going in, chat. <laughs> I've had enough. Well, Bashley's at max, so we can use the super attack. Let's just keep wounding them while we can. Holy. Love Thesaurus is like out of guns. <laughs> just, we use them all, unless I want to clip, which I don't really want to. You know what? We'll use Sky Eye. We haven't seen that still. We'll do one more round of attacks, maybe. We'll do one more round of attacks, and then we're gonna finish with the super, hopefully. So we know this thing is ultra tanky, so it doesn't matter that I'm doing 10,000 a turn. Let's see what Sky Eye does. There we go, chat. For that little tiny shot, it made a big explosion. And it did like no damage. Oh, it killed him though. Oh, I didn't expect that to die. 200,000 experience. Holy, we were, we were so under leveled. Oh my gosh. We were so under leveled. 
<laughs> we got four levels from that. Holy. Oh, get me out of there. The fight was horrible. Mad goggles. Jeez. What is he? Is it a gear item? No. Check out what it does. What was our reward for that BS? There it is. Protect. Oh, we got an item for. We got an item for Dremlin? That is so terrible. That's like the worst reward we could have gotten. Like, it might as well just be a melee weapon for Vicky, right? Like, who cares? That was so not worth it. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. Jeez, actually terrible. Okay, he's finally at 3,800 health, so maybe he'll survive the nonsense of that going forward. So we're gonna leave this team in, since this team clearly does more damage than everything else. Is there anything I could briefly put him into? More response speed, maybe? Ashley go first could matter. So this is just a straight up upgrade, so I might as well switch him to this one. But the Saurus is going dead last, but he does all the damage. That's fine, and tankiness. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. So that's one down. There's like six more. But at least we have four levels. I will say that. At least now we have four levels. We can finally see if we started with one of the hardest ones first or not. Or if that was the quote-unquote easy one. We are going to probably go save the game and get some personal skills. Since we went up enough levels, we should just be able to auto-grab some of these things. I might do FP cost. Oop. I got baited. I might do FP cost down on one of the other characters. The next boss three penguins? Yeah, that's GG. See, like, it, it wasn't even the fact... Well, I don't know. Does, do we need to get our response down? I guess it wouldn't hurt to get it again. I guess we'll go restock those since we're here. <laughs> Seventh moon times three, yeah. 21st moon. Gosh, that was obnoxious. Armor down... And we definitely want slowdown. I'm gonna get two slowdowns just in case there's a double boss again. Alright, how many crests do we have? Do we finally have enough to just get all of these? Is she, she has all of her level twos. How about her level ones? Oh, she's still missing a few. Uh, we'll do magic defense up and. Probably just Earth Elemental damage over those options. We're missing two crests somewhere. Oh well. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We absolutely need to restock. I can officially upgrade every item I have if I want to. But I don't need to worry about Bashley's arms when he's just going to be going into the power form. The arms only matter for casual encounters. So I could just raise the damage of this by a lot, just so he one-shots an encounter. Yeah. I might as well just have an AoE and the, and the game thing. This one has decent damage, so I think what I could do is add another bullet for his other ability. I think that's fine. Goodbye, our money. Because he does technically have that ability to unload all the bullets. So if I'm in like an if I'm in a story mode, boss, I might take that over getting meter again for access. Whereas for the bonus bosses, I only want access at this point. Whereas we didn't use it basically the entire game in less fours. So now it actually matters. Uh, let's make her physical attack damage up a little bit. You more resistant. It's a fuse by minus one. Maybe I actually want that with her. I was thinking about it. I want it on him at some point. I might as well just take it. Uh, 
Okay, so they're now much tankier overall. Uh, let's give her advancing guard. Save up some meter for you. So we at least have some stats to deal with normal attacks so we don't get chipped out in case the boss actually does damage. We've seen a couple times, it did help. That reward was so terrible though. It was so disappointing. It was such a struggle for like, and I just got like 100 health on this character. How much sorcery points did they go up? Can I see that? It's 702, but aren't I playing with defensive items? Yeah, so with the other thing, what would he be at normally? Question. 842. So yeah, we went up about 80 sorcery once we're back into the normal gameplay. When I no longer need Talisman, uh, his damage potential will be through the roof. Actually, is there anything I could give to Bashley? He is just using Elven Boots. Doesn't super matter one way or another. Could make Vicky technically get the uh, damage thing up. If he really wants to. Oh wait, what does Amulet do? Or is that Luck Up? Let's Luck Up. I don't care about that. Um... I'll put open boots on her, and for him I could just do anything else. I like that kid gloves are stronger than mitten. Sure, let's make him tankier, why not? Enemies at least occasionally melee. Let me take a look at the list. I wrote down some of the locations where the bonus bosses are. We'll try one more, or maybe two more, depending on how long it takes, and then we'll take a break. Yeah, that was... that was a struggle. So we could go back to the prison. So I have seven locations listed down where we've seen boss symbols. I'm trying to think which one was the second prison. It's been so long since we visited them. I should have written the prison name down, that probably would have helped. There's this prison over here. I don't know if that's the one I want to go to or not. We'll find out very shortly. Alright, we're skipping all encounters. I'm not interested. Veil Prison. This feels like the first one. The second prison might have been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is definitely the first prison. The second prison, I think, was in the southwest? Because that's where the execution scene was. Let's teleport to... I think this is where Second Prison was. Helmets also has one, so we could do that one soon. Yeah, there we go. I reasoned it out. I sort of remember where things were, kind of. Then was where was it at the prison? Oh, maybe it's over here. Alright, how horrible is this fight? <laughs> how horrible, Chad? Let's find out. Welcome, Charlie. The big enemy. Oh, wait. No, wait. This is Seventh Moon. Wait. Ankle Voice was the name of the wild. Oh, no. <laughs> Chad, we're about to get 7th Moon. <laughs> but for real. Wait, I think this was the arena boss. Oh no. We meet again. Well, this is gonna be, uh... This will be a thing that we experience together. Let's go for Armor Down. I 
And then Bashley goes faster, so response down might matter, and then we're gonna just hope first aid goes first. Okay, so they're slower than us automatically. That's a good sign. A great disaster. Yeah, it feels like one. Oh, look, it's a copy-paste of the other boss move. How much does this do? Oh. Oh, you confuse? Oh, that's heinous. Oh, that's heinous. Ew. You cast confuse? Oh, this fight's over. I didn't know. I didn't know, chat. That's not fair. Uh, this might be over already. Uh... I only have one clear chime. Okay, we're gonna put it on you going forward. But I have to still get rid of the status ailment. So what we're gonna do is we are going to... Cure... You. And I'm gonna use Confuse here, which we should have in here somewhere. There we go. That's gross. I, I should survive another attack like that. At least I'm immune now. I can't use Talisman anymore, which is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. No! <laughs> the seventh moon! No! It returns! I hate this boss so much. I hate this boss, chat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're coming back later. I got seventh moon. GG. There it is, GG. <laughs> so I don't know how to survive that with hello other than scape dolls. I don't know if it's possible. I'm gonna go with it. I don't think it's possible. I'm assuming that'll be the last boss we fight, because that was one of the one of the literally last bosses we fought. Wild Arms won. So that's kind of brutal. Okay, is there anything that isn't getting 7th Moon? I'm gonna put 2nd Prison near Helmets. 7th Moon. And I'll know what that means. So we did get 7th Moon, of course. Okay, so... We're gonna- we're gonna ignore that fight. Now the question is, is this before or after I change the thing? Okay, it's after. Actually, what am I doing? Let's just teleport. Get a couple of safety heals in there, just in case. The helmets. <laughs> that, that, so, my other characters can almost survive it. Like, Bashley could survive it at full health, maybe. The Saurus definitely can. But the problem is, like, I don't- there's no, like, AoE healing in this game, other than our first aid and maybe spamming something, like, Mystic with, uh, Vicky 2. But Vicky 2 also can't survive it, so either way, we're kind of screwed. I think it's, like, back here. Old man's about to witness a real fight, I think. <laughs> or he's gonna watch the party get absolutely murdered. We just unleash this horrible abomination that kills everything. Hi, uh, how garbage is this fight? Okay. Seal Dragon of the Bowels of the Earth, Titanius? How many 7th moons does this one have? We'll find out. I mean, we're definitely gonna have the lucky card to survive at some point. Oh, you are hideous looking. Uh, let's go ahead and debuff you. I should have sorted my inventory, so I don't have to do this every time. We'll do an armor down, and we're just gonna go for a slowdown, and I'm just gonna go for a heal, regardless. So he outspeeds us. How much does he do? Oh, like nothing. I mean, this is fine. If that's all you want to do, if you don't get multiple attacks, you're in big trouble. I don't even think I needed to slow his resistance down by much. Okay, so he's more vulnerable to us now. So because of the fact that I'm always going to go first, I think I'm just going to build meter. Let's try to fi figure out if he has a weakness. And we'll try to do... Let's see how he resi uh, resists Darkstar. That honestly doesn't do a lot of damage. I don't think I care. But we'll heal next turn, which is fine. 
But anytime the enemy wastes a turn with a melee attack, we'll be able to attack with hello. We're going in straight for the crits, apparently. Our damage is really good compared to the penguins, so I'm feeling kind of okay about this so far. Uh, spell damage was mediocre there. So, I still don't think I have a reason to heal. So, I think I'm just going to keep building meter on him. Let's go for Nova Rain. Well, let me think. He's using lightning. Is Earth the opposite? I always forget how the element system works in this game. Begin regeneration? I don't think I care about that. Uh, I mean, this just lets me build meter and figure out if he has a weakness, right, chat? I'm kind of okay with this. Like, go ahead. I don't care. Because eventually we're going to go into access form. So we should out damage his heal, even if he goes for it. So that healed him. So he uses lightning, but he's... Okay. Well, we're learning today. Uh, so we did Graviton. Let's go for Submerge then. Using Barrier, which probably increases his defense. It's annoying, but whatever. I don't think this fight is harder than the other one so far. I think we were supposed to do this one first. Oh, we're doing way less damage. Oh, that's kind of annoying. We did have an armor down, but I think we burned out on it. So water doesn't do any damage. Uh, Bashley can just access now. Let's go ahead and lock on with Railgun. Let's activate access. Try fire. Yeah, like the other characters have so much health, I still technically don't have to AoE heal myself. At some point, I'll use the card. I think next turn I'll go for it. Just like Bashley used. Well, maybe Thassar should use the card. Oh. So maybe it just has absorbs, but no healing potential. I don't think I. Yeah, I have another slowdown, but not another armor down. That's unfortunate. Uh, we'll just build meter. Build meter. I guess I could go for the card and greed. So thanks to access, we should still be doing pretty good damage here. Yeah. So even if he heals here, I don't really care. It just means this battle is going to be a bit slow. So I could sub in Vicky to specifically armor down him again. Might actually do that. So I think I'm going to AoE heal with Hello, and then sub in Vicky specifically to armor down, and then she gets subbed out immediately. That way I can start doing real damage again. Uh... I think I'll just build meter then in the meantime. Actually build meter, go for one heal. Then we can figure out weakness. So we know it's not dark, it's not earth, it's not water, it's not fire. I was thinking because he's using lightning, he would not be weak to it, but in theory he could be, I guess. Okay, I'm glad I healed there. Let's sub in Vicky out for hello, because I just need to get through his defense at this point. Or the fight will take much longer than it should be. Fortunately, Vicky's health total is pretty good. We should be able to... <laughs> I could try to boost railgun damage. That would be kind of insane if this hits. Do a gun blaze. Go for armor down. Or I could wait a turn. Yeah, let's wait a turn. Just gonna defense down. Um... What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a heal here, I think, just to make sure I don't get cheesed out by something. Do some okay damage here, and then you just need to armor down, which I made cost less specifically so I could use her for this purpose. Uh, 
so we're almost keeping up with this defense. Oh, well. I mean... Can that keep going? Oh, it can. Alright, well, I'm gonna armor down. So we're gonna have the great armor down wars. So that way his defense doesn't just become... That can miss? This character sucks. <laughs> Why? Why can that miss? Wow. Just actually big F. Come on. Why does that even possibly miss? It should just negate. Please negate his defense up so I can actually do some damage. 14,000? Did he just undo literally all my damage there? That kind of sucks. How does she... Can I not armor down him again? Oh, come on. That's stupid. Wow. I don't think it can land again, because technically I used it. That is really, really dumb. Well, I might as well just try to do damage while I can. We know it's not this. We could try wind. I guess I never tried wind. Maybe we could hit some elements. Or are we just gonna get stalemated for all time where he just heals a million bajillion health? Brilliant Buster. Oh, now you use another AoE? Is that gonna kill me? Okay, it's not. That did not do as much as I was hoping. Okay, so they are weak to wind. Alright, okay, so we, we got a chance. So sadly, I do have to heal here. Alright, so we at least can do 10,000 a turn. The so hello's still gonna carry here. Hopefully he does not heal 14,000. If he heals 10,000, that's fine. Because we're outpacing his heal. Or his damage move, I mean. I just wish he would stop Krillian bustering so I can actually do real attacks. I mean, I guess I could risk it here to just try to kill him. I might- you know what? I might as well just go for it. In case he has low health, but the intent is to just do whatever. Do lock on, we're gonna do gun blazer. I'm gonna go for... end here. So just in case he can heal 10,000 health, we're now gonna do like 20,000 total. How much is he gonna heal off of this? You've got to be kidding me. Is he just randomly going to full heal? Oh my gosh. Why did they do this? Wild arms! <laughs> yes. It's so unfair. What is this nonsense? I hate it. I hate it. He better not have more than 40,000 health. I swear, chat. That is so unfair. My only damage dealer has to heal. Man. Like, we d like I just didn't know his spell weakness in the beginning, and why should I? So irritating. I'm forced to heal here. So, you know, I can do like 6,000 to 8,000 a turn, which is pretty good. And then I could do like 14,000, as long as he's not spamming AoE. Thank you, Advanced Guard. Say no to this boss. So in theory, I might be able to use access to try to one-shot the boss. But the problem is, is if the boss heals and my shot doesn't count, then I'm out of first aid. I don't really like... I don't want to put myself in that position. We're going to use Tempest again. So you can see, like, we're... I did try to armor down him. Like, I did try to play by the rules there. You gotta be kidding me.
feel like we're gonna be in a war I can't possibly win at this rate, which is just a, such a bad feeling. Chat, this is everything wrong with game design. So it's like, I don't know what they were thinking. Oh my gosh, I'm at a meter again. So we're doing 10,000 a turn. Asaurus is not doing much. I might have him just heal at this point. Like, I think if I don't keep doing this, we just lose. The Talisman's making me outpace him. I could just mini Scud and not care about his HP. I could go for last burst. Try to kill this thing before it heals again. Didn't kill. We still have a spell left. Come on. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. I, I couldn't have done more there, Chad. I even went for it. This is so bad. So is it ever going to stop constantly healing, or is it I'm just in an infinite game loop? Because I am like five seconds from like turning this game off. I'm so tired of these optional bosses already. I hate this. Yeah, it's like, what crazy thing do you get later in the game in order to ever possibly deal with this? Because, like, it survived, like, the nuke. It survived taking, like, 15,000 damage a turn. I can't possibly keep pace with it. This is so stupid. I mean, like, is there even a point to continuing? Like, is it going to run out at some point? Or am I just literally in an infinite loop in which I cannot escape? Like, maybe in the beginning... Maybe I would have been able to get through it before it, like, stacked all the barriers? Maybe. But, like, now I'm out of meter, so we're back to where we were for the first time again. So, I might as well as just reload my clip if I really need it. We build meter. Yeah, like, this is, like, the really unfun game design that I absolutely do not miss. I guess we can count how many turns I have to kill him. Make a determination from there. Welcome, Penguin. I'm getting very tilted by this really horrible boss. I don't know what they were thinking with this boss. Uh, it's literally just full healing over and over and over again. And I don't think it's ever going to stop doing it. So, I guess I just have to die at some point. Because I don't... Oh, is it doing something else? It has other attacks than full heal. Ugh. 
this is such bad design chat. What were they thinking with this? Alright, we're gonna boost the railgun. Gonna activate access. I'm gonna use Tempest again. Yeah, I, I think it's over. I should just reset. It's over. I I'm giving up on this boss fight. This is just stupid. What this in is constant cool heal spam. Oh, fun fact chat, because I had nothing better to do during that time waste of a boss. It apparently is 75,000 health. So do the math chat. I have about three or four turns in order to do that much. So that's not happening. We're gonna we're gonna tap out of that boss and say no thank you. I'm just gonna just gonna go, no. I don't think I'm interested in that. I I know, Chad. This is the this is the kind of stuff like I don't miss in older RPGs. I'm very disappointed in Wild Arms 2 right now. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, ugh. So clearly I'm missing something in order to deal with them at all. So the question is, can we fight one enemy that is not, like, terrible garbage? <laughs> Look, are there any that are not just absolutely terrible? So I'm assuming there has to be more areas we've never been to. Let me think. We could go back to the... I guess we could go back to the crater for the mine shaft. We'll try one more bonus boss and then I I'm giving up. <laughs> My motivation to continue playing after whatever you want to consider the last couple of bosses. So remember chat how upset I got at Wild Arms 1 bonus bosses? These are 40 million times worse than the Wild Arms bonus bosses. They've learned nothing. They have not progressed as developers. I'm very disappointed in them. Like, who... Who decided that this is fun? Like, I really want to know. Like, honestly, who sat there at the office and was like, you know what's a good game design? Why don't we have a boss that's literally unkillable unless you're a certain level? Because we're just going to do infinite full heals. To be fair, one of them is the Wild Arms one bonus boss. But the difference is we don't have infinite scape dolls. And we also don't have infinite, uh, we also don't have the ability to get rid of Confuse. So it's it's actually worse than in Wild Arms 1. Yeah, like, that's just, like, such a hard stat check that it, like, kind of just took me out of the game, to be honest with you. So we'll do one more, and then I'm, I don't know. I'm very disappointed in this game. I definitely do not enjoy the stuff that we're going through currently. I guess I could do the mine shaft and holes. I was thinking that or the crater. So some of them are just like, so we can't survive seventh moon yet. So seventh moon will do like near last. Helmets is such a hard stat check that clearly we need some kind of like uber end game weapon we haven't seen yet. Because the, even with doing almost 7,000 a turn, which is way more than anything we've been doing up to this point in the game. Um, it's still not good enough. So clearly there has to be something that does like 20,000 plus damage. Because basically we need to be doing about 20,000 a turn. So I need a character to do at least 12,000, a character to do at least 8,000. Potentially you can level it up a little more. Hopefully I didn't write down the wrong place. Camera angle, please. I mean, this area is okay for leveling. I should probably actually take the encounters here. Due to that rare encounter. Where was it in here, though? I don't remember. 
I wrote down that it was the mine in Holst, but not where in Holst it was. Where was it? Alright, let's see if we fight those little cockroach things. Sort of, but not really. Otherwise, I'll just keep looking in the list. I can't find it. I thought there was one in here, but I'm really not seeing it if it's in here. Oh, you know what it is. It. I don't think it's this mine shaft. I think I wrote down the wrong mine shaft. If it's not in the first room, it's it could be at the one that's in the northwest. So I don't think we ever had to really go far for the pyramids. So unless unless it's literally in the first room and I missed it, we're gonna check the other mineshaft. Yeah, I don't see it in here. Right, so let's leave then. This place. Yeah, that's not the right one. My bad. I should have uh, written down what the name of the mine was. It sucks when they reuse like general concepts, so it's like there's more than one mines in the game, so I gotta go the other one. I think it was called the, uh, what was it, the closed mine shaft, I think, is the one I'm looking for. does not help that they're all basically near each other. <laughs> yeah, I think I wanted this one. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's see what this is like. Is this even doable? Is that the boss from earlier? Bodyguard monster Kabold King. Or Kabold. Alright, let's see how terrible this is. <laughs> Rule number one is he gonna do 4,000 plus damage? Rule number two is he just gonna full heal for no reason and shut down this entire encounter? We're gonna go with a slowdown. We'll do armor down. Into a slowdown. Into first aid to keep health up. Alright, so he's slower than us currently, which is good. He's slower than Bashley by default as well. That's interesting. Slow down miss. Thank you, game. Alright. Not a lot of defense lowered. That's a lot of damage, but we fortunately we leveled, so this is still doable. Talisman is actually huge here for not dying. Let's build a little meter on him. But so far, I haven't seen an attack or an ability that is like GG. If that disease is, that's a GG for sure. He's gonna counter attack, which is fair, it's just gonna build his meter. Care about that. So he's just going to spam this every turn. It's not causing status ailments, which is the most important thing. So we're going to go ahead and boost Railgun. I'm going to go ahead and open access. And I'm going to go ahead and first aid. Yeah, we're not getting double tidal wave. We're not getting seventh moon. 
So this, I think, was supposed to be the next boss that we went to. Even though this is not in discovery order, which is kind of annoying. So I see how much damage we do here. Okay, 8,000 is a lot. Hello with the advanced guard. Get out of our face, right chat? Let's go ahead and use a card on Thesaurus in case he's got a lower health total than the other bosses. I feel like this is a good opportunity to level. To melee, let's just heal again. I'm gonna figure out if he has a spell weakness. So if he does that again, I'm going to use a spell. So, so far this seems way more doable than the other boss. Okay, he's counterattacking, which is fine. Nice dodge. It builds more meter. Prepare to attack. Uh, I'm going to... I'm actually just going to block with hello. AC does like a super attack. I think the other characters will probably survive it. Ooh, he's taking less damage. Interesting. So is he immune to the access form? I'm glad I blocked there. I think that would have done like a million damage. Because <laughs> block normally is like an 80% damage reduction, so I think that would have been a one-shot, I think. Build some meter. I think we gotta just do normal attacks in access form, which is a bit disappointing. Um, do we have ice? Try ice, maybe. Yeah, we react to this. Well, we have critical here, so this should do more than our gunblaze did, which is a bit sad but true. We're still doing okay damage, not like great, but we're making progress. Counterattack is good because it builds us meter, which we won. So I will take that little slap. Resistant to ice. I don't know what he tried to do there, but he failed, so whatever. Let's go for lock on a mini scud. Uh, is he actually weak to fire? So crits here are huge on on this form. So I feel like this is probably the only time so far I haven't reg regretted getting crits. We are doing a lot more damage. So this looks doable so far. We're not getting literally one shot or just like nonsense healed into oblivion. I was resistant to that too. I could try to use light on him. Rebuild some meter. I could try a non-elemental attack as well. Can you use cosmic ray? How much does cosmic ray do? So I feel like we're probably going to beat the boss in like 3 or 4 turns at most. We're doing decent damage. So even if he has 60,000 health, we're doing about 6,000 a turn at this point. Okay. Okay, so finally hit us. Oh! Okay, well, we found out what that attack did. Right, chat? We found out the hard way what that attack does. But again, we're doing decent damage, so as long as we don't get AoE'd right here, I think I'm fine. I prefer not to use a full revive fruit. We'll see how this goes. Serious? That's one shots him? Seriously? Uh, this is kind of annoying. Uh, actually, you should just attack. Let's. There's a revive on you. We need to keep outputting damage so the boss fight eventually ends.
I could bring in Vicky for revives or damage, but he's also resistant to magic, which is kind of annoying. Now he's just going to alternate who dies. Okay, so what we're going to do... In that case, we're just going to keep attacking with Ashley. So his criticals might actually make a difference here. So sadly, he has now rapidly reduced how much damage we're doing to him. Due to him just literally one-shotting. Oh, we got a block in. We get to play the game. So let's go ahead and build some meter. I just do Banisher for damage. Uh, let's try to use Light Attack to see if he takes damage from it. Oh, it's at 8,000. That's pretty good. Oh, so when he does that, it just... It doesn't use his meter up. Oh, so I could just retransform then. Okay. Kind of okay with that. I've lost track of how much we've done, but I'm assuming over 40,000 at this point. Oh, hello, didn't block. GG. Yeah, I wonder why he ends up with meter. Oh, maybe because he's so... I don't know, is that a bug? Because he gets drained when he transforms. But then I use 50 meter to end the form, but I end up with 100? Weird. Yeah, that did like nothing. Built some meter. So we're making some steady but very slow progress. It costs us revive apples, but that's probably fine. Hello, need some meter. There we go. Oh, please don't kill him with counter attack. Oh, advance guard. Thank you, advance guard. Oh, it didn't activate again. Come on. I just can't get it started with him. Please stop focusing him. It's so rude. Rip our revive fruits, by the way. Hopefully I don't need a lot of them later. Okay, this should build a lot of meter. If he wasn't resistant to Bashley, this fight would be over by now. I'm pretty sure. Because otherwise we would have been doing 6,000 a turn instead of 4,000. <laughs> the hard targeting of this boss is unreal. Can we agree? Holy... Let's go ahead and use Lock On with Mini Scud. I will try to heal in the off chance that he chooses not to do... Uh, Tail Swipe at us. Come on, do some damage. Okay, there we go. We beat the boss. That wasn't too bad. That was way less BS than the last three bosses we fought. Nice talisman heal. 100,000 XP. 150,000 money. The stars of 47. Bashley 47. The low is now 52. Everybody getting power leveled. Omega crush acquired. Oh, did we get an actually useful item? <laughs> we didn't get the troll defense. So maybe we're at the point where I can survive seven moons, fam. So Bashley has enough to survive. The Saurus definitely does. How strong is this? That is a big damage upgrade. Where was this earlier? So he's now doing insane damage. Like, actually bonkers. Yeah. Yeah, as opposed to just, like, that crappy... Stupid helmet. Could you imagine also if you didn't have the other character it belonged to? Like, you go through this big fight and it just, you don't even have the party member that has it. Oh man. What's your stats like, by the way? Yeah, we're getting up there. 
So we tried to give more tankiness to uh, Hello. And now Hello's Talisman heals for about 150 more. So his ability to survive is not bad right now. I wish we had the equivalency of like the Necronomicon. I'm actually really surprised we never came across an enemy that granted it to us. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that would have made our life much easier. Alright, since that one went okay, I'm willing to at least check the next boss. Because at least now we have extra levels. So it should be a little less tedious. How bad could it be? Something like that. It would be funny if I wasn't supposed to do this for like another five dungeons or so. I'm a, I was assuming we're at the end of the game, but it's possible we have more after the, the next thing. Which is fine, I don't mind doing some of this early, but getting hard stat check like that is just obnoxious. Uh, let's just improve his damage to max. Eagle Penguin Titan is double, double full heal moon. Yeah, could you imagine if he did double moon and it full healed him? I think we would just quit the game. I think, honestly, we'd just power it off and be like, so we're playing another game next week. Alright, let's just fight a random encounter to heal. I don't really want to use the inn if we don't have to. So that was the Kobold King. I got a couple other places that maybe something will appear in. I'm not sure if there's a place I could have used Earthquake, by the way. I'm assuming there's something somewhere I might have been able to use. I was thinking about that when we left there. I didn't have any notes for it, but I guess there might have been platforms like the ones that we Earthquake. Maybe. Yeah, so just need to heal Thesaurus one more time. Yeah, so Hello having Advancing Guard actually did make a big difference in that other boss fight. It made the boss waste a lot of extra attacks towards Hello. So, feeling really good that we did that. So we're gonna first aid, and then we're going to just let him get a kill, I guess. The Thesaurus now is like an ultimate power. Ashley's access makes him good against bosses, but he's just kind of okay against crowd clear. Can't quite use the other ability, but I could do this. GG. Oh, Vashley outspeeds us. That's right. So sad. Hello, falling off a little bit, chat. The power level gap is gone. Rip hello. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you get 100,000 experience. You know what I'm going to do, chat, for tomorrow? I'm going to double check that there wasn't a pyramid in both mines. Because I'm looking at the way I wrote this down on the list. And there's no way I should- there's no way the closed mine should have been it. So maybe the, maybe there is one really deep in there, but I, I'll check, uh, I think next stream. Because I, I wrote them down in the order that we came across them, and I'm like, I don't- I'm pretty sure I did not discover the Wind Tiger Den one after the closed mine shaft. I'm pretty sure. I'll check later, though. Maybe there was one really deep in there. Let's see if we could get anything fun with this. Probably... Up parameters when force level up. Is that... Does that mean what I think it means? I think I should have been putting points into this. 
I'm actually going to put a point in here to see what this does. So next three levels will definitely go towards this. I wonder if this is just you do more damage when you get force stuff? I wasn't thinking about that before. But maybe we could have been doing a little extra damage. Sadly, the other characters aren't able to get it. We'll have, we'll have to test that. I mean, we have nothing better to do with our points. So if we can level one more time, then we can do that for all bosses going forward. I don't think that would have made a huge difference. It might have mattered on the pen like, the, as they said before, the penguin fight a little bit more. But other boss fights generally are over within, like, four turns. Like, I don't think I would have cared in, like, the story mode dungeons at all if we had that. But I think for the bonus bosses, potentially having that could have been huge. Let's try to rank that up next. Alright, so let's teleport to... There's a couple places we could go. I could go to... The Meteor Crater. I could go to... I think it's Slayheim Castle. I just wrote... Yeah, it's Slayheim Castle. I could go to Slayheim Castle because I think there was one there. It was the one that was kind of in the... Uh... What was it called? The, uh, the snowy area, I think. The one there. Uh, I just want to save the game. I just want to save the game closer. Is there not a store where I can save the game? Oh, never mind. You're right here. I'm blind. Ignore me. I want to save closer to here, because this has like a couple things I could redo. I'm curious how much damage the Saurus is now doing. I don't think we have enough to kill the other thing. That thing, it, that thing, I think, requires us to basically have some hidden ability from Maribel, or whatever her name was, in order to go in and actually do some damage. So I'm kind of curious where some of the abilities are. I'm hoping there were none on the bonus bosses we did, because I did not bother to check. So, yeah, I, she feels kind of like a, a strategy guide character. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, you, you either have to literally spend time hunting every single enemy in the game again, or you just look it up where to find it. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that in general. Uh, so let's try going here. Yeah. So I don't think I'm gonna bother using her for the most part. Like, we'll try- maybe on occasion we might find something useful with her. But so far she's had one usable ability. Everything else has been kind of trash. Okay, so we're gonna- so we have five cards left and I have like four locations. So right now I don't need to get extra lucky cards. Mickey 2 still can't survive 7th Moon, so we need to get to probably about 55 is what I'm guessing for them to stand a chance. Bashley and Thesaurus can probably win as is. Talisman has been a big MVP on Hello for surviving. Whenever we get a chance to do damage with him, I might switch him back into Holy Tablet. Let's see. Right, how, un how unbeatable is this boss? and belly. There you go. What a combo. Uh, let's attack the belly, I guess. We'll hit it with lock on lawnmower, because I got meter. Uh, let's just use a carrot here. I really don't feel like messing around with this boss. Uh, actually, before we do that... I did not get my armor down back, but I did get- I still slow down, which is what I probably need. Let's see how he deals against a light attack here. 
Alright, so the boss is slow. I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. Eldie acquired. Miss? Spells can miss? Why are spells missing? Defense up, magic resist up. Okay, as long as you don't full heal, I don't care what you do. <laughs> right, chat? Like, just as long as you don't do that, I think we're fine. So, that was pointless. Um... Arctic? Or is he just immune to all spells? As if so, that makes me kind of sad. I guess he's just immune to spells. So, so far he's not really doing anything, which I'm kind of okay with, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna continue to build meter. In fact, since I'm tired of waiting around, let's use a uh, carrot to speed things up a little bit, since he's not even building meter by attacking. Um, try not elemental to see if this makes a difference. Getting there at least. Let's see. Assuming this will be a miss. Yep, okay. He's still not really doing anything. <laughs> like, okay, right, chat? Like, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll build meter. I think what I should do is use Blast Um. And then I can use Carrot on him to give him the rest of the meter. Yeah, I mean, so far this is the, probably the most disappointing bonus boss. We haven't seen him do literally anything to attack so far. I'm so confused. <laughs> Is he going to attack at any point? Question mark? I'm just gonna go transform now. I'll check one more element and then I'm gonna give up. I'm trying to see if it provokes an attack from him, but he just seems to be burying repeatedly and not doing anything. Okay, nice critical. Maybe when his belly is destroyed, he'll bother attacking? Oh no. Yeah, that doesn't work. Schwartz straw? What? How much does that do? I mean, that's a lot of damage. I'm glad he, like, woke up, but... Whatever. Do some basic healing, I guess. I mean, if I was... If I didn't beat the other characters, that might have one-shot. But I have two characters that will probably survive that. Hello probably can. Let's just build meter in the meantime. So we're hitting the main body and the belly every now and then, so at least the main body health is getting impacted. Sadly, I can't just use Valkyrie to hit both, which is what I was hoping to do. Whole body attack. How much does this do? That does a lot of damage. So that could be a problem for us, because that outpaces our healing pretty significantly. Use Gun Blaze. Hopefully that hits. So if the Saurus is out of kill range, Bashley could die if targeted. I just kind of thought the boss would be more aggressive. 
Oh, yeah, I could take a damage. Unmodified spell? What? That didn't really do that much damage. I'm gonna hit Savoric himself. We're gonna use Gunblaze again on the belly. We're gonna first aid. I mean, this is fine. I think we could beat this so far. Ashley could still die, but Thesaurus is out of kill range. I wish we found a weapon for Bashley. That would make this battle go much faster. Counterattack is good. I want him to do that. We need meter. He's targeting Bashley again. Bashley dodge. That's huge. I can lock on another lawnmower. Gunblaze, Zavorg directly. I'm trying not to kill the belly too quickly because we've seen what happens is that if you break the body part, it can make the other fight parts harder. So they start spamming spamming bad moves. So I want to do some direct damage to him for a little bit. I don't mind chipping it a little more with grenade, but at least I want to say like we focus the damage there. And who knows, maybe the body part is close to dead anyway. We have been hitting it with multiple things. I wonder why that green barrier keeps popping up with Thesaurus. It makes him immune when that happens. I'll just keep spamming heal. So let's do two more attacks with Bashley, then I'll focus back on the belly. That way, you know, in case the other body has like a ton, a ton of health, at least I can say, hey, we took out like 20,000 before, or 30,000 before we started attacking the belly again. That is potentially like three or four turns of not needing to worry about it. Perfect, I got a counter attack. That's what I want. Build a meter back up. Full body attack, that might kill Hello. If he advanced guard that, that would have been amazing. Yep, that one shot him. We are losing a lot of our revive fruits, which is a little concerning. Let's wound him a bit more. So I'm probably just going to keep using Gunblaze on the main body and just have Thesaurus punch the main body. I might even substitute out Hello completely and just put in uh, Irene. This is probably going to kill Hello. I don't think there's anything I could do about this. So hello, can't do anything in this fight. Let's put in Vicky. That way I can heal. Then we'll put in Irene afterwards. Let's do a lock on to hit the main body. Let's hit the main body again. Sadly, we can't revive people not in the party. That would have been super good. Um, let's heal Bashley directly. That's, again, another potential turn of not needing to worry about it. Wario trying to give me hints on this. It seems completely immune to spells, so I'm not going to use her for spell damage. We've not managed to land a single spell at all. I'm not going to bother. Probably fine. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and just keep attacking the main body. I'm gonna switch out Vicky too. Actually. She did what I wanted her to do, which was tank a hit. So if he's not gonna spam his AoE as often, I could probably get away with this team. Let's just keep hitting the main body. Uh, it's probably fine. we're gonna go for actually damaging the belly next turn. So I feel like we have done at least 30,000 for the main body at this point. Maybe a little more. 
So at least I can say we've cut out like four turns of potentially bad things. That's fine. Counterattack all you want. Saurus is unkillable. rather bashly survive. It's between those characters. Finally doing a new AoE. I could just heal through that if I need to. I think I will. We'll heal. Start attacking the belly. Partial heal. So I'm assuming we're within like two or three attacks of popping the belly at this point, because we've done a lot of damage to it. And we've now focused on his body for at least 40,000. She got focused hard there. Will she die? Yes, she will. Unfortunate. <laughs> Just, we're burning through so many resources. Don't like that. Put her in for now. Okay. Belly's still not popped. I want to use Banisher at some point, but I'm going to wait a little bit more. Let's hit Zavork again. She should survive an AoE, and if she has to, she can heal again. There we go. That way I can conserve my healing for actually more challenging fights. This one's more of an attrition thing. It's just sad that, like, Hello's just getting one shot now. Like, there's not really much I can do about that. Okay. So we're going to hopefully pop the belly soon. She now has enough meter that if at some point I can target it with spells, which maybe the belly blocks the spells. Okay, it did a different animation, so I think I broke the belly finally. That maybe I'll finally be able to use spells on this stupid thing. She's probably dead instantly. There's not much I can do about this. Oh, she dodged it? Okay, we'll take that. I'm gonna do at least a couple more. I might go for... So what I'm gonna do, I wanna see if now I can finally hit it with spells. That was really annoying that I couldn't do anything. So if I can defense down it now, that would be huge. Cause then I'm gonna go for a final attack. Cause I think we've done enough damage to the main body at this point, it would not surprise me if it's gonna die in like three turns. still misses. So as I said before, we did at least 30,000. We're adding another 10,000-ish here. Maybe maybe like 8,000-ish. So he should survive that. So I could just have her healing every turn. So she'll do what I need her to do for now. Lock on with Sky Eye. I'm gonna go for Banisher in case it's super low on health. Use high heal. So just in case it's almost dead, I might as well fish to see if it kills it. Not quite. Because the worst thing that happens is I just end up in the access mode again. 
Just okay. Still have 100 meter. So we, we weren't too far off, at least. Those sound effects, though, jeez. 5,000 experience. Oh, maybe I didn't card? I thought I carded. That's unfortunate. I think I didn't card there. Oh, well. I don't feel like redoing that boss battle to card chat. Let's see, we got a new item. It's her melee weapon, really? No, that kind of sucks. I feel like level-wise, I'm mostly there. I I'm more need equipment than I think levels at this point. Yeah, that's pretty terrible reward. <laughs> just like, wow, that was just not worth it in the slightest. Really not a fan of these bosses, chat, not gonna lie. Really hate them. Let's do Zavorg on my list. So he's done. So we have the castle left. Go somewhere else with it. So I'm assuming there's some kind of super crazy... Like, unlock I'm supposed to have before this point, because it definitely feels like it's taking forever to kill these bosses. But while we got, like, almost 200 damage difference between our current equipment and this one, he's still not quite able to do the damage needed. So, hello, unfortunately, is not penning out for now. So, he has officially fallen off, chat. It took a while, but even though he still has a level advantage, I just don't think he could do anything in these boss fights anymore, which is so sad. Like, his AoE heal is great, but, like, he's just literally getting one shot over and over. And given that we have not come across anything to raise HP... Oh, got that there. Given that we have not come across anything to raise HP, there's not really much I could do. Or respite, not worth it. Actually, must fight alone. Yeah, we fought the one in the prison and got 7th Moon, so I did not like seeing that boss from Wild Arms 1 there at all. Uh, chat still memes on that boss because of how obnoxious that boss was. I feel zero regrets when we played the first game using 99 escape dolls on that. That fight was just terrible. Can I please have my party member so I can heal? <laughs> Please. I just wanted to first aid without going to an inn or doing anything else, so this is taking forever now. Thank you. Lock, lock, heal. I'm gonna sub out the other characters, heal once, and then we'll save. I think I'm done for now. I, I had my limit of, uh, really, s like, slow, repeatedly slogging, uh, or slugfest kind of style fights. And the battle going on for, like, 30 million turns, the fact that, like, magic doesn't work. So it's like, either I have to just, like, test literally everything, in order to see like what the weaknesses are and then retry every time and then waste time going from a save point back there or i don't know it just it, it doesn't sound like a very exciting thing for me to do so honestly i might just skip the final bonus bosses i'm kind of tired of them already like i'm happy we got a weapon upgrade for the other character but like if all it's gonna give me is like armor up like, that reward is so terrible, I can't even understate how uninterested I am in armor at this point. 
<laughs> I'm like, okay, I, I'm fighting attacks that don't seem to care about my stats, so... Why why does defense matter? It's like it's like bringing in like high defense stuff in uh, ESO, where it's like, does it really matter if they one shot you? Hitting hard check by the set damage is quite something. All right, so I think everybody is basically a fool. So what I'm gonna do is just end the fight. So I think the Saurus and Bashley are in an okay place. The Saurus still doesn't quite have like the dim like even though he has an endgame weapon, he doesn't quite have the oomph I was thinking he was gonna have. I think it some of it has to do with the fact that they keep stacking defense and armor down has not been able to keep up with it at all, which is really sad. But I think another part of it is just maybe I'm missing just something else to boost stats. So we're going to try to uh, get more parameter up when force level goes up. See if that is like the missing E. Sadly, I didn't lucky card the last fight. So we're probably only going to have like one or two more bosses I could realistically power up on. And then otherwise we're going to have to just come back in the story. If I even want to do the other bonus bosses at all. Which at this point I don't. And I think even tomorrow, I might just continue with the plot, just to see if we reach a final dungeon over doing bonus bosses at this point. Since I am definitely fed up with them. I don't like being held hostage by the game, and it felt like very much with the stupid town boss recovering literally like 40,000 health, that I felt like I was held hostage. I don't really enjoy that in a video game. Even for post story, I don't. If I beat the game, I'm not coming back to them. Let me be real with you. If, if I beat the game, it's over. We're moving on. I don't even know if I want to do Wild Arms 3 after this game. I really, really did not like this experience. I feel like so far, I've. I think this game is genuinely worse than Wild Arms 1. I'm willing to state it. Maybe it's a hot take. But I just really don't like. Like, there were some weird balance issues in Wild Arms 1, but man, the puzzles in this game are like 20 times more annoying. The camera angle is terrible. I don't like... There's so many more bonus bosses, and I don't think they do bonus bosses well. So it's like, it's just kind of painful for me. I might just move on. Yeah. It, I don't think it's gonna have the inverse effect where Valkyrie Profile 2, I thought the entire game was terrible except for the bonus dungeon. I feel like it's the inverse of that, where the, the main story is fine. But I don't really like their concept of how to do it. Wild Arms 1, just too easy. It's okay. Can always be Shadow Hearts 2. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm kind of done with this game. I just... I don't even know if I want to stream it tomorrow. I'm going to be honest with you after today. I, I don't like the balancing of this game. I have really did not enjoy like any of the last five bosses we fought. And I think the problem with what uh, Oreo Gaga Smurf is talking about is like, not only does it feel terrible to fight things because combat XP is just so garbage, honestly, throughout the game in attempts to keep you at a certain level through the story, that when you attempt to do anything else, it's like the difficulty of the game is not in dealing with the attacks, it's surviving the RNG of the attacks. Like, even if I know that they have an attack, they're not going to be attacking in a certain order where I could predictably figure out, like, they're going to do this attack, then maybe this attack, then this attack, big bad attack, and reset. We haven't really come across a boss that's done that other than maybe the healing boss is an example of that. Maybe. Otherwise, it just feels like I'm rolling the dice on who it's targeting, and if it happens to double target, we lose. I don't really find that very interesting as a concept. So, like, to me, it just... I, I don't like how that game design is, is doled out. Like, I understand that some of it is supposed to be you know, harder content, and that's why they're optional bosses. But the challenge from them is not challenging in an interesting way to me. Like, almost all of these bonus bosses have just reskin versions of the same attack pattern over and over and over and over again. Like, how many 7th Moon style attacks have we seen from these bosses at this point? How many times have we seen them do this? Like, the closest we've come to seeing a status ailment was the Wild Arms 1 boss, and it's like... 
The fact that the system doesn't really have anything to do other than just hit you with wall damage with single target or multi-target kind of makes it not interesting to me. And that's why I think other RPGs are a lot stronger when it comes to boss design. Like, they have things you have to deal with, or you get countdowns in order to do things. Or, or think about the mechanics in something like a Suikoden boss. It just, it's just not interesting to me. If this is what they're going to do is like a quote-unquote challenge. It just, it's not, I just don't think it's worth the time, to be honest with you. We could play better RPGs, I think, at this rate. And so I'm really contemplating right now if Wild Arms 3 is ever going to be an improvement. Where I thought Wild Arms 1 was okay, and it had some parts of the game that were very easy, some parts of the game that were actually hard, in terms of, like, going from the transition of, like, the normal game into, like, some of the post-game, where there was, like, that one really rough level gap where clearly it wanted you to power level, or not power level, but it wanted you to get, like, two to three levels before you fought uh, the ninja boss. So, like, if you skip encounters a lot, I felt like you got a little punish in Wild Arms 1, where in this one, I don't think encounters matter at all, and they're just kind of time wasters. Like, I don't even like the exploring the overworld mechanic in this. Like, <laughs> I already wasn't a fan of it in Wild Arms 1, where it just kind of made you go open-ended and do stuff like that. But now it's like, I have to do the stupid search function. Like, how do these idiots not see what a city is? Like, I'm okay with them finding, like, treasure or whatever, but it's like, seriously? Do we really have to be told by some idiot in some town that, Hey, hey, dummy, there's a big prison here. You should probably see it. It's like multiple stories tall in the middle of a desert. I don't know how you possibly can't find it, but for some reason this is like a new invented issue with this game. Exactly, what is that indeed? So, I, I just don't... I, I don't enjoy it, Chad. We've played much better RPGs on stream. And with that, we're going to end this particular session. I think I'm going to hard pass tomorrow at this rate, because uh, I just don't really want to continue at this rate. So I'll think about what time I want to come back to Wild Arms uh, 2, but it will not be tomorrow. I will state that very firmly. So we'll figure something out to do on Sunday. And I think for now, uh, we're going to say goodbye to Wild Arms. If you did watch to this point the video of the VOD, thank you for watching, and possibly see you next time if we continue.